baby. Flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me. They didn't even fucking know me. This is my story. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by <laughs> Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> we back. Made it to another Monday to give y'all the show that you know and love. Give you had a uh, special weekend. Yeah. It's your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. Yay, yay, yay! It's your birthday. Hey, hey, hey! It's your birthday. <laughs> Good birthday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Out in Linwood. Watch Elijah and oh, Jason yeah, Crow yeah. Jr. go yeah. at each other. Yeah, it's a good matchup, good matchup. Two of the best sophomores in the country doing work. Great game. Excited yeah. for the future <laughs> of California high school basketball. But this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. What it do? We got Lexi Brown. Happy Monday. Back on the couch. How you doing? Good. Okay, good to see you. And we got Kenya Martin back here with us. What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> So, Gil, like I said, we know it's your birthday. We know you don't really get good birthday gifts like that, but what was the best birthday gift you got this year? Earmuffs. Earmuffs? <laughs> <laughs> I got bathed. <laughs> By two. <laughs> I was like Eddie, I was like Eddie Murphy and Mary, coming to America, baby. <laughs> Prince <Hakeem> style. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Friends High King. Yeah. Hey, I see that we're already really? starting. Already starting. Really? Oh, I never got Monday. this before. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that was better than money or any gifts. Yeah. You keep your sweater. <laughs> 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 All right. Here's what's cracking in the arena today. The Lakers snapped a four-game losing streak with a win over the Clippers. But did Darvin Ham save his job? Giannis called out the entire Bucks team, including players, coaches, and even the equipment manager. But what do the Bucks need to do to get back to running the East? And Draymond Green is back from his indefinite suspension. But will it be enough to get the Warriors back to their winning ways? But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Do yourself a favor. Download the app. Use promo code GILL that will match your first deposit up to $100. You heard that right. You get a $100 deposit match when you download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code GILL and get to get them pickems going. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username and we use that question on the show, we will give you a $50 bonus if you send us a video to mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that video on the show. We will give you a $100 bonus. Please keep those videos in the 30 to 40 second range. We don't have all day to be watching you ask a question. And if you can't watch the show live with us on YouTube, we have audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So we're going to start this show off uh, by showing some love to a phenomenal <laughs> two-sport athlete. <coughs> you all right? You hit the blunt again? <laughs> nah, I just read the comment, man. So and said the two people was Dwight and Kitty. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Not on Monday, man. You started it. it. You started Damn. it. Not on Monday, man. <laughs> Caught me off guard, bro. Were they? No. Oh, I'm just making sure, Gil. I hope. My job both. I hope so. <laughs> so we got to start to show off by showing some love to a phenomenal two-sport athlete that had the internet going nuts this weekend. He's an all-state outside linebacker at Lawrenceburg High School in Indiana, and he was just named MVP of the Rivertown Classic Basketball Tournament, joining his twin sister, who was named MVP of the same tournament on the girls' side. So let's give it up for Noah. Um, mm. I'm having a little oh, trouble. Oh, shit. A little trouble pronouncing that last name. <laughs> so is it silent like knife? <laughs> 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 Mr. K. Silent. 
Hey, oh, yo, now that? that's funny. I got a little trouble pronouncing that last name, so we're going to go to our resident pronunciator in audio tech here at Gills Arena, Sebastian, for the proper pronunciation of that last name. We got Sebastian here. Sebastian, how do you pronounce that last name? I like my job too much, um, so I'm going to say <laughs> Knaysayer. Okay, Knaysayer. <laughs> Knaysayer, okay. Okay, Knaysayer. 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 That is insane. I'm still not saying. Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Is it, is it, is the case silent? Is, is it Kaniga? Is it just the, the regular? Kaniga. <laughs> either way. Ooh, hey, he oh got that Kaniga smile. <laughs> that Kaniga's a great athlete. <laughs> Mr. Kaniga. No, the, wor no, the worst part about it, put his picture up there. Please do. Again. <laughs> he look like. Him. Not, right? You see him, right? Where is this, he from? He's a twin. That means there's a female that looks just like that. <laughs> hey, come on, Gil. Oh, Lord, shit. Don't make fun of the picture kids. Picture down, picture down. Just, Gil's no, Arena loves saying. the kids. Don't make fun of the kids. I, it ain't a kid. I'm just saying there's a female that looks exactly like so, they father. Like, I, woo. How much would you pay to hear Damn. an NFL or NBA broadcaster have to say uh, that name during the game? Oh, no, college. College. Oh, college, college yeah, now. Oh, first, let's start, let's start there. Damn, damn. Uh, <laughs> College announcers. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go with them. <laughs> yeah. Let it, can they say or no? no yeah, that's a yeah, funny what are they going to do? Name, man. That's a funny What are they going to do? They have to say it. They got to say it. They got to say it. only have black broadcasters talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> RG3. Can nigga for three. <laughs> <laughs> that can nigga's on fire. Oh, my God. That's going to be fun. Where that name come from? I don't know. Yeah, what, uh, you know. what origin? That's like, what, what, origin? what origin is that? Please look Racism? that up. The Caucasus <laughs> Mountains. <laughs> the Caucasus Mountains. The South. Where did that name come from? Why is that the first I'm time I'm curious. We like, what... <laughs> And how many of them are there? Yes. Floating around. When the world. it is, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, because it had to be like, yeah, I want to know. Hey, let a it, nigga it'd know. It'd be funny if he marries a black woman. Oh, Lord. That, that'd be funny. Uh. <laughs> and as always, yeah, this is good. Or, I think it's, I mean, obviously it's bad that he's white with that last name, but I feel like being a black person with that last yeah. name is worse. So, Jamaica Kaniga. So, <laughs> so what he's about, but then high school, Samika, right? Jamaica, really? So he's been in school for a long time. Uh huh. So, <laughs> first day <is>. teaching <laughs> that motherfucker like, uh, oh lord. <laughs> and he's probably like, who? Yes, that's um, Noah. <laughs> can a can nigga um, borrow a pencil? Can, can a can nigga Noah yeah, no and, Gen <laughs> no and Jenny? <laughs> no and Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what we're gonna go in. Yeah, we're never. We're, yeah, we're gonna never use that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 that's straight great. out of Dave Chappelle's book right there. Having a lot to do with that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. All right, well, that's, that's, that's a good one. crazy. Y'all <laughs> niggas show is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the, yeah, the family name. Hey, the niggas, the niggas, niggas is coming. Niggas is coming. <laughs> they coming, y'all. Oh, shit. Damn. Hey, that's a great last day. For Yo, me. man. I want to, please somebody look that up, man. Like, you're, What's the origin? I got to know where they're from, where from man. And, like, I have to where know, like, rest? what. Where are the others? Yeah. Where's the others? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, let's keep this thing moving and shaking. It's been several days, and people are still oh. buzzing over Cat Williams' interview on Club Shay Shay. Among some of the more outrageous things Cat said was that he, re he read 3,000 books per year as a kid and also that he could run the 40 and 4-3. So Cat showed off his speed recently at 52 years old. <laughs> As if showing us that makes it more believable. Like he could have yeah. just timed out himself and put it. Uh, he with no, the he video. runs like he was a comedian. Like he, everything he does has humor. Why he run that way? Why is your shirt off? <laughs> yeah, hey, fifty two. That's fifty. He's fifty two. He is fifty two years old. No, he's fast at fifty two. Yeah. Oh yeah, he moving. No, I, I mean forty three. I mean what? You got to take his his height. Little legs into that. Equation well. And that makes me think, if he can run that fast, why didn't he run away from that 14 year old that had his ass in that headlock? Like, <laughs> choke your ass You should have took off. He's you should have been bobbing and weaving. <laughs> oh, man. Now that makes the, it makes the, the uh, Damon, it makes that Damon scene even funnier because we know he can run now. Absolutely. You can run that fast? Huh? You can run a 4 4 right now? No. Not even close? Me? Mm -hmm. Eight, nine seconds. <laughs> 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 See, I might be going to lie to you. <laughs> I've never even tried to run a 40. 
Everyone, I'm curious to see how fast I yeah. run that. Probably. I ran one in high school. What was your 40 in high school? Four six. Wow. Okay. I mean, in high school, I mean, yeah. yeah Y'all play tight end? I don't think mine yeah. would be very fast. Oh, yeah. Tight end defensive end. Mm -hmm. You'd have been nice. Tall and aggressive. Mm -hmm. You don't think, boy, you see me. I'm <laughs> aware. I'm just, I have to. You see me play basketball, right? right? Yes. Did so, you run a 40? Football. For sure. yeah, I ran, right? I mean, I ran a 10 300. <laughs> you ran no, a 10 yeah. 300 I mean, yeah. in high school? Yeah, I was a track. Was okay. 100, 400 runner. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, just that playing outside shit got uh -uh. old. It's too hot. <laughs> So speaking of celebrities who, who try to be athletes, try to be hoopers, who's the best celebrity hooper that you've seen? The best celebrity hooper. Non-basketball player that could hoop. Probably Chris Brown. Probably Chris Brown. Nice? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Back in the day, back when I was younger, Brian McKnight. Yeah. Was getting buckets? Oh, Brian not bad neither. Huh? What? Trey not bad neither. Trey. Songs. Oh, Trey Songs? Trey Songs not bad neither. Y'all saw that video of uh, her, the singer, shooting? Yeah, with she was shooting. Quickly. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was up. Everyone yeah. kept tagging me in it. They're like, that looks like you. <laughs> and I'm like, is this a compliment or uh -oh. what y'all trying to say? Uh-oh. Her form looked good, but I was like, "That's she's little. Yeah, she was, yeah. you can tell like she's little as shit. But too. that shit was going in. Yeah, that's all that matter. Like, damn it. No, yeah, yeah, I would say Chris Brown. Adam, 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 Sa uh, Adam, was, uh, Adam Sander looked like he was. Adam Sandler. Adam, yeah, he looked like he could. Yeah, he'd he could be up hoop. at the rec. He'd be up at 24 hooping and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, he'd be up there hooping like a okay. <laughs> okay. Like we had used to have some celebrity games back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realize most of those butt naked basketball. We just heard that they were celebrity games, you know, find out, you know, you know, last few weeks, they used to be celebrity butt naked basketball games. What? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. It's getting rough, it's getting rough at night. <laughs> oh. Don't yeah, Alexi, want you to elaborate. Yeah, Alexi, I know you're not from here. I, was... <laughs> I need to elaborate. I, know, right? I feel like Kat uh, alluded to some of that in this interview with, with Club Shack. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like Protecting his version. Master P? Yeah, Master P has game. Master P. But Master P. Ma Master P was probably the best hooper. For someone who was dropping a, a CD every week, Ima every week, and he was like the last cut on Toronto. Imagine if he actually was detailed and got the train. He had that, he had that outside hoop game, right? That outside hoop game, like all little tricks and trades. So How much? if he, if he like, like actually got the train a little bit, he probably would have made a roster. So I, I forgot about, I forgot about P. P was probably the better one. Did y'all ever play with him up at UCLA back in the day? No, I didn't get to. Okay. Did you? Yeah, he used to come up there. Yeah. How was it then? I mean, he was P, so you had to respect him. I'm just saying, on the court. It was like P and Magic Johnson, so if they call foul, it's foul. Yeah. <laughs> it's foul. But he used to come with the box of P. Miller gear that was all like the NBA knockoff stuff, mm -hmm. like all the jerseys and stuff, so. <laughs> Got a all fatigue. <laughs> ton of love for Master P. Oh, you know, listen, I had every Master P CD imaginable, so trust me. And did y'all get to watch J. Cole play at all when he was, he was balling out? Mm -mm. I've never seen him in person, but it, it, him. I saw his little stint in Africa. Yeah. yeah. I forgot uh, Gilly. <laughs> Gilly can ball. Left hand. Gilly, 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 Gilly uh, what is that? Uh, Gilly Lillard. That's what he called himself. <laughs> Gilly Lillard. Cameron. Damien Gillard. Yeah, Damien Gillard. Uh, Cameron. Okay. Okay, so He's in the Lakers. underdog family. Mm -hmm. Cam and Max. Yeah, we seen the, uh, the videos back in the day at my high school. <laughs> Not giving up the rock. Someone, someone in the chat said Rashad McCants. <laughs> chat, come on. Rashad will be here tomorrow to address <laughs> to address the chat and to address Stephen A. Smith. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's that like, was <laughs> crazy. That Stephen A. Smith. No, they just said like he, was saying he was a celebrity. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's keep this thing moving. A video surfaced recently of a 13-year-old allegedly becoming the first person to actually beat Tetris. You know, this sounded like something else at first when I watched the video. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. I had to turn the volume down just to not confuse anybody in the household. That was a game you could win. Okay, you can get to the very end and freeze the game out or something. Like, How long did that take him? That's 
Fair question. He probably at the crib chilling. But what was your favorite video game growing up, and what was the hardest video game that you ever beat? My favorite game was Mario. Did you ever beat that one level with all the shit? Yeah. Wait, you'll stop. With all the shit. What, all, what do you mean with yeah. all the shit? That, that hard ass level of Mario. With Mario 1? The mushrooms and the. You don't beat Mario 1. Did Two you, and three. Did you skip through? Did you take the little uh, the tunnel to skip through levels, or you played every yeah, level? But, yeah, we all took the t- tunnels. It's part of the game. Okay, just ask you. Well, you mean that shit, that's real? I believe so. What? No. Skip levels? No, you see, like on, like you see yeah. on social media, all little things going, I don't think that's real. I don't know. If there was a tunnel, I took it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you grow up? What was your favorite video game? Uh, probably the Mike Tyson punch out. I, I was going to say, listen, he probably didn't play video games. And if he did, it was violence. <laughs> Mike Tyson punch out. And, and with Impact Mobile. Is that in Tech Mobile? Yeah, for sure. Bo Jackson back in the day, yeah, Willie Gone. Cheat no, code. Yeah. Contra. <laughs> Contra was the shit. Up down, up yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Left, right. right. Yeah. Yeah, if you finished Contra, then you knew, yeah, you had to have the code. And <laughs> Unlock all the code. Up, down, up, down. And, and what, what impact do you feel like Mike Tyson was putting out? Select B start. B A B A selection. I still know that shit's crazy. <laughs> what impact do you feel like Mike Tyson punch out had on you no. in your later life? <laughs> okay. no, no impact whatsoever. No, it's my environment I grew up in. Okay. The impact and shit. <laughs> 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 I know <laughs> video game. I know damn video you know, game. No, they be blaming. You know, for hell no, video man, games. you know how hard it was to beat Mike Tyson? Mm-hmm. Shit, to get to Mike Tyson was fucking hard. <laughs> and if you ever got lucky one time and you knew that it took, man, how long it took you to get one win versus Mike Tyson? It was so, a special moment. So, trust me, special moment. Mm-hmm. Once. Like, shit, like, because all it takes is one. <laughs> fucking game over. Lex, you play video games growing up? What was your favorite? I like Sonic. Okay. The rings. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They had so many different versions of the game, and I had them all. I had all the game systems. 64, Dreamcast, GameCube, PlayStation. Okay. Damn, growing up in the NBA household was nice, wasn't it? I know, it? right? Shit! I don't know, shit. <laughs> I loved the video games. Sound like my kids. And then one day I woke up and didn't like them no more. Mm. And that was yeah, when I was we... like, oh, I guess this is what being a girl is like. Yeah. Shit, my kid yeah. had to... The fucking Dreamcast and all that with all the games. That was my on it. favorite. Season. Oh, you came out when what? Sixty four around that time, right? What? Sixty four. Yeah, I had that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have regular Nintendo. No, but I played it. I played Mario on that, but I love Dreamcast. That was my favorite. And then when I got a little bit older, I finally got to start playing Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty. Yeah, that was. I had to beg my mom to let me play that, and I had to go to my friend's house to play it before that. <laughs> Because I wouldn't, I wasn't no, allowed to play at home. Nobody, That's the way it goes. nobody uh, remembers the original Grand Theft, right? Where you can take the CD out, right? PlayStation, you could take it out and then put your own regular CD in. So I used to take it out, put Dog Pound in there. So when you steal a car, <laughs> you listen to the Snoop. Really? Yeah, what? I know that. Yeah, you can take it out because it's already preloaded. You know what I mean? No, you just that hit game that, is insane. You know, open button. I feel, I feel sorry for him because you know. It'll be mindful we are our show for the... No, I'm just you. saying, you know, the last name dies with the father. Because there ain't no way this kid is uh, oh, you're talking about ever uh, having a girlfriend. Ever. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, there ain't no... There's a whole community around Tetris, but... I'm just saying. You got to be real yeah. smart, obviously, to beat Tetris. Let's spin this forward to basketball. Which player you play with or against had the highest basketball IQ? Against uh, LeBron, Kobe, Jason Kidd. Those three? Mm-hmm. IQ. I would probably say against Chelsea Gray, Courtney Vandersloot, Sue, all the point guards, and then with Simone Augustus has like a okay. really good basketball mind. And then so I got to play with her in Minnesota, and then get coached by her my first year in LA, mm-hmm. which was really cool. And again, I noticed that you glossed over. Uh, who you played with that had a high basketball IQ? So just because I, I, I never got to play with myself, so I wouldn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never got to play I with myself. I need to start. I need to start thinking like you. <laughs> I never got. I to feel play. like I'm one of the smartest basketball players I know, and I never said oh, that. Oh, I was going damn sure say myself. Yeah. Like, <laughs> All right. But no, I, like, of course I've been on the K, uh, team with J Kid. Uh, I think he's his basketball IQ. Playing against Brian. It's just alone. So yeah. Well, 
And people talk about LeBron and obviously him remembering plays and his, his, his deep knowledge of the game, but you guys get to, got to witness that firsthand. What was that like playing against him? Well, it's always a chess match, always um, games and shit. They're figuring out the matchups, figuring out what plays not to run and who to put in the pick and roll, who not to put in the pick and roll, and like certain things, you know? For sure. Yeah, no. He know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he knew not to, he knew not to call certain shit, yeah. or run certain shit when I was out there. <laughs> it's it's a, like I don't man, I'm true not gonna, good, true. I'm not gonna let y'all keep running the plays that I know you about to run. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, y'all, y'all gonna have to put some other shit in. Cause I'm just gonna tell, I'm not gonna let you throw the ball. You want to throw the ball? Mm-hmm. Listen, pressure him. Mm-hmm. Don't let hey deny him. Pressure him. I killed the play. That simple. <laughs> I ain't gotta tell hey. Don't let the ball revert. It's forwards out. Forwards about, out. About to <laughs> run forwards. Hey, it's low pole. Hey, deny him. Don't let the ball. Hey, it's basic. They've been around. I, I'm not. Yeah. No. I hate that. Yeah. The team be yelling a play right back to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Now we'll flat. <laughs> like Mar- know all our plays. <laughs> but like Marcus can be used to like his, like he was great at like when, because we had coaches, of course, they calling out the, the plays and all that. Like MC was great at like relaying it to the other guy. Mm-hmm. So I think that was helpful for some guys out there, but but for me, you know, I'm always, I'm locked in to what's coming next and screens and mm-hmm. just blowing plays all the way up. It's the easiest way to play defense. Yeah. So th- there's oh. been a lot of talk nowadays about the lack of basketball IQ in the game. I'm just mm-hmm. curious as former players, and even Lexi as a current player now on the WNBA side, do you see that when you're watching games just Decision making and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I, I, listen. That's the biggest thing, man. Like that was my. Like I can't stand a dumb basketball player, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I, I, I really, it bothers me. Mm-hmm. Um, to explain something to you, and it's been shown to you, and explained to you again, mm-hmm. and then and then maybe shown to you again. <laughs> And you still go out and f- I, it's, it's, it's baffling to me like, that you don't have the, like, the capacity like, to retain it. I think, I think that's um, <clears throat> when, when, as fans, when you look around and you see these players that you like and they can't get in the game, is because they're dumb basketball mm-hmm. players. Right? They're not smart enough to pick up what's going on. They make too many mental mistakes out there, so you can't rely on them. So when you be like, oh man, why they ain't playing this guy? They just hate him. He dumb. <laughs> he dumb. That's it. There ain't no. <laughs> it ain't no which way around. And you draw up a play. Yeah, we need you to be here. And he go out there and just other way. Yeah. <laughs> get him out. Get him out. Come out and mess the the, the, the OTA like the timeout. Oh, gosh, like, that's dude, the worst. that's no. draw. Up play draw. Right you, there. <laughs> what are we running? What are we running? What side I supposed to be on? Oh my gosh. Like you know when the coach because the coach always draws a play facing him. Right, so he's doing it like this, right? So most people, we can just, all right, okay, I'm on that side. Like, no, can you flip he, flip yeah. it over? Yeah. Gotta, gotta show him, please. <laughs> you gotta start doing like, this, all right, so we on this? of the play, I literally, in my head, I'm like, right side. Right side. <laughs> Left side. Because I'm like, I have to make sure I know what side I'm on. So in my head, I'm literally, I have my little voice. Mm-hmm. Lexi, you're on the right side. Lexi, you're on the left side. But even sometimes, I'm like, what's up, my what's up, what's up? I'm like, Lexi, really? Hey man, too much going on sometimes. Nothing wrong with asking. Not because you maybe drawing the sure. play. Maybe drawing the play up. You be over here like, man, what a water act. Yeah. Water. <laughs> I'm doing everything, Look but down, I can. All you see is <laughs> but, but some travel. people can do. You can you can multitask. <laughs> like it's, I can. I'm listening to you, but I ain't gotta look at you. Uh-huh. Like sometimes, enjoy you draw plays on the ivy, sitting that motherfucker like. Just staring. I hear you. Then before, right before I get up, I. And then uh, yeah, it just it's that simple. Yeah. Cause he wasn't running shit for me no fucking way. So <laughs> it was either a back door, a screen, a cut. Simple. But yeah, no, nah, it, it, nah, you were you you run into them guys, man. You just like, mm-hmm. I was on the team and somebody, <laughs> I was new to the situation, and you know I'm I'm a talker like trying to help guys out. If I see something, if I'm on the bench, I'm I'm yelling sets out. Or I'm yelling like. Dude leaned over to me and told me, hey, man, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You keep talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm new. Like, I'm, uh-huh. I'm coming in and I'm energetic with the situation and I'm trying to, you're going to drive yourself crazy. You keep talking to him. 
I, and I just sat back and I observed what he said. And I was mm -hmm. like, got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, let's. Uh oh. Who could it be? I guess. Swagless. Uh oh, Swaggy P at Swag the door. No, Swagless P. <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna let y'all talk about that when he come in here. Oh, that's what I call him. <laughs> Swagless. Swagless P. I make fun of his Halloween costume on Twitter. We got Nick Young in the building making a special appearance on Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fans. That's my dog. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hi. How you doing? What's going on? What's up, man? 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 Well, you got hey, your young in the building. Baby, you got right? your, oh, well, man, damn, that's a nice little platform y'all got here going on, man. You got your thighs out. You <laughs> got yeah. your thighs out. I ain't got no drawers on. I'm going to be having my camera. I'm going to be having the camera down there. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. You're going to let you know. You forgot to put your drawers on. That's why you did it. Forgot to put your drawers on. Uh, see, too. see, Lex. See? Yeah. Hey, too. stick with me. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna let you know. We got Nick Young in the arena. Nick, appreciate you pulling up. How hey, you man, doing? the chat want to know what the P stand for. It's a mystery, man. I got a book coming out. No, 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 no. no. Pimping mm -hmm. all. You can put a P with everything. Cause you know P Diddy get in trouble for the P. So we try to figure uh, out what your love. people. His name is Love. Name. Oh, His cool. name is Love. <laughs> so, He's showing oh, love. Oh, brother, oh, so brother Love so is brother the one that's showing love. Okay, because we was yeah. like, damn. It was like, you know, what, what the P stand? <laughs> the P stand for? Uh, hell no. Nah. I don't want nobody coming back for me. I ain't did nothing in my life. I ain't did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a virgin and shit. The way they <laughs> he said, I ain't did nothing in my life. He said, I ain't did nothing in my life. Swaggy P, hey, I really, really appreciate you joining on. This I don't Monday know if y'all ready for this. <laughs> uh, I really don't think y'all understand the magnitude cool. of what's about to happen. Right, cool, cool. It's gonna be a good day. Oh, it's gonna be this purity fucking comedy. <laughs> All right, well, let's. We're glad to have you here. Obviously, Nick, you played with the Lakers and the Clippers, so we're about to talk about Battle LA. Lakers and Clippers were going the opposite direction before their second meet of the season. Clippers were 14 and two in their last 16 games, and the Lakers were in the midst of a four-game losing streak. They had Bron saying the team sucks so bad that Bronny could play on the Lakers right now. He said that. He said He, said he meant that, that shit too. In the locker room. I seen him yesterday. Bronny could play right now. Bad boy, but he was playing. He was mad. Are you at the game yesterday? No, no. Okay, man. just watch it. Yeah, watch nothing yeah. So then you watched the game yesterday. I'm sure you saw this moment. Uh, 39 year old LeBron put the team on his back and put Paul George on a poster. Trying to find two outs. That's good play by. Drove down the lane. LeBron drained down the top. Hammer. I mean, year 21, LeBron still don't doing stuff like this is absurd. LeBron finished with a game-high 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 dimes. Averaging 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists against the Clippers this season. In addition to this dunk, LeBron also helped lock up Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi was 0 for 6 from the field, 0 for 5 from 3 with LeBron as his primary defender. But let's get back to LeBron's poster on PG. The dunk was so nasty, it even had James Harden Making a stink face. <laughs> Look at Hart for watching that. <laughs> that doesn't even Harder look like Harder was in disbelief. Y'all edit that, man. Y'all stop playing with that, man. That doesn't look like a real picture. That is a real photograph. Oh, my God. Harden was in disbelief. <laughs> but the Lakers have struggled to beat good teams this year. But the Clippers are one of the hottest teams in the league. So, Gil, we'll start with you. How important was this win over the Clippers for the Lakers? Hey, man, he's still coaching, man. I'm going to just be honest, man. I don't give a fuck how many wins they get, man. You keep putting that same lineup in. I'm not going to. I don't give a fuck yeah. what you win. You had 106 points yep. last, yesterday. But they held the Clippers 100, on Cool. <laughs> you had 106 yesterday, right, in a league that, that they got that in the third. <laughs> they got that in the third quarter. So unless you're going to defend like this all the time, you're going to get blown out. The same three people, same three, seven, eight, 13, two. Two. D-Lo back in the, the line. The dude, no, he wasn't. No, he back in, he was out. He, was, he missed a couple games, was back playing. The dude came off the bench, bro, played 21 minutes and scored two again. Who was that? Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. But that's he. That's what he do though. He's Score not, two. He's not a scorer though. Then why the fuck he playing in this game? Cause he gotta play defense. No, he. 
He was looking so me. You found him on a corner and told him to play some defense. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what his job is. You can't ask him to do fucking get 20. His job is to be a liquor store dude and just play defense. <laughs> a corner store uh, naysayer, as y'all like to say. <laughs> liquor store dude, corner store. I don't know why. I'm, I'm done, man. <laughs> yeah, it's time to fry the ham. It's time to fry that. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I'm done yeah, with yeah. the scoop, man. Yeah. They uh, put too many of the same people out there at the same time. Lexi, how important was this uh, <laughs> like we had on Rick Well, I was, at, I was at the game yesterday. Stunning. Mm -hmm. And watching, like, the energy of the team, like, it was very weird to watch them. Like, you could tell, like, shit is not good in the locker room. There were times where, like, Braun was, like, separate from, like, the rest of the huddle. Nobody was speaking in the huddles, in the timeouts. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody. The coaches, none of the coaches, none of the players were talking to each other. Like, it was very weird. So I'm like, I don't know if this win makes a difference because they weren't very excited after they won. They weren't really excited about much. And the communication was definitely Okay, so you're saying it was, us. they wasn't really rocking when they looked like a bunch of individuals and not a team out there? Yeah. Pretty much. I see. Or a lot of players that are expected to not be there for much yeah. longer. Oh, there was D-Lo made a shot and he was all hyped and LeBron was looking like, like your ass is yeah. treated. Yeah. <laughs> you gone. <laughs> yeah, like that's exactly what the vibes was. It was, it was odd. It was weird to watch. Kenny, what did you think about the Lakers' performance last night? It is the NBA, and on any given night, anybody can be beat. As we proved, um, Detroit Pistons got to win. <laughs> so, um, even the sun shines on the dog ass some days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, but, um, nah, man, it is, yeah, for them to score 106 points is, is, alarming and that's the consistent theme around there is in this day and age you got to score points man like as big as of a defensive minded guy that i am the way i think the game i understand like in this day and age like no you got to score points mm -hmm. and you scoring low low, <laughs> low hundred <laughs> like, so every game last night was over 100 <clears throat> 10 points. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Yeah. You can't, so, like, you can't have a Yeah, but no, it's frustration, you can tell, with dude celebrating. And his LeBron mindset is, shit, dude, dude we just lost four straight. And y'all out this motherfucker celebrating. Like, nah, this is not the time for that. Which. Understandable. So y'all talked about uh, Darvin Ham a little bit, and it's been obvious that Ham has been on the hot seat, especially after the Lakers lost to the Grizzlies on Friday night. Got so bad that one Ham supporter was brought to tears on the coach's den Twitter spaces. No, don't fire him, bro. <laughs> Man, this nigga's so serious, bro. I Please take this nigga off. One more game, bro. One more game, bro. One more game. Nah, this is bro. Oh, <laughs> fire him, bro. I promise you, we're going to win the championship, bro. I promise. Yeah, I heard the word championship. Um, so. Yeah, so Darvin Ham fan uh, was brought to tears <laughs> after that Grizzlies game, begging for one more game. Uh, so, you know, during the Lakers four game losing streak, reports where Ham was losing the locker room, several players were frustrated with his rotations, lineups, and their playing time. But I got all y'all on the couch. You guys are all super, super knowledgeable about just the NBA, how the game goes. Do you think Darvin Ham saved his job with the Lakers win over the Clippers? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, listen. I... Something wrong with this damn boy. They need to bring back choking. <laughs> coaches. No, <laughs> no, I know. No, 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 I know. No, he can't no. be choked, but the be... idea of it, because there's some times, if you're going to sub in Vando <laughs> in front of me, <laughs> I should be able to choke the shit out you. Okay? Just, just, I know, I know whoever tried on him, you're going to wake up in the hospital. But <laughs> yeah, the, the concept still remains <laughs> the same. The concept still remains the same. You should get choked for that sub, right? There's no way on earth that. <laughs> So and then he taps me on my shoulder and I turn around, it's him. <laughs> Fuck you, you know, get your motherfucking ass back on that bitch, brother. What's wrong with you? As a coach, you should be choked 
for some of your lineups. How many games has been going on? How many games? We done played 30 some games? Yeah, something like right? that. Van and Cam, Van and Cam has shown you two to seven points. Right, that's it, right? But they defense. Cool. Two to seven. Get the fuck out of here. Right? <laughs> two to seven, that's it? Right? There's, that's it. If they score 10, that's a great game. But the, the, this get, Lakers is trying to combine me, people me, into one person. They I like know, that's what they got to use two Reed, spots to get one person. They trying to make transforms, combine Reed <laughs> and d <-Lo laughs> into a third star, <laughs> combine Vander and, and Reddish into a defender. It's, it's hard, man. <laughs> This, this, man, they just need to put just, just go a seven man rotation. Get Christy and D'Lo in. That's it, man. That's it. Just play them. Just play that right there for for like ten games and see what we got. Vando, Cam, if if we need you, we can sub you in. If if you keep going with these lineups, man, I'm I'm just I'm sorry, man. Just start look. Just start calling around, man. Just start calling around. Start putting your resume out there, cause <laughs> it ain't it, bro. <laughs> It ain't it, man. It's over. <laughs> it's over. The only way you keep your job, man, you go on a 15 game winning streak, man, and we'll think about it. Man, LeBron gonna have you to do it. 15 game winning streak, Gil? Huh? That's the only way you can keep it. 15 game winning streak. What about like eight? Yeah. Nine games? Well, let's start with two. A trade. I think they gotta make a trade before they fire the ham, you know. Before they cook the ham, man. man. <laughs> they gotta drink a trade before they bake the Boy, ham. Boy, LeBron over that motherfucker. Smoke ham, baked ham, fried ham. <laughs> Boy, that man already been traded. He just don't know. He ain't got the memo yet. Yeah. <laughs> so during during the Lake, Lakers post game media availability, they asked LeBron about ham in the locker, and you could just tell the answer was very short, succinct. Kind of like when you really don't want to give it up, but you have to, and you're really trying to keep. Oh, the narrative going. So, Nick, you talk about trades. Lakers are reportedly looking in the trade market before the deadline with names like Zach Levine, DeJounte Murray being mentioned as potential options. So we have a mostly fans question from Y3 official on that subject. <laughs> Another week, you guys won't use my fantasy fucking question or whatever the fuck it's called at this point. the baby. Niggas is heated. <laughs> I guess I got to talk about the Lakers instead of the Hawks. So we picked this so one and talk about the Let's try this. Yeah, right. Nasty. Let's try this. It's nasty work. <laughs> Niggas is heated. Do y'all want DeJounte Murray? Is that what the Lakers need? Because, like, bro, I'm tired of the league trying to divide and conquer the Hawks. Like, why is this happening, bro? Why, why is this Lakers, DeJounte Murray shit happening, bro? Talk to me. Put the GM hat on. All right. Well, I'm going to put my dad hat on first. <laughs> Fucking degenerate, <laughs> talking that way in front of your damn child, like just Two not answer. Get that baby out Hell the monster fans video. Yeah, I'm Martin not. and Ham the same coach. You ain't gonna say nothing. No yeah, no, I'm not answering huh? the fucking Ham question. Ham and nigga. Martin is like the same. I know, that's what I said. You might wake up in the hospital. You trying to choke? <laughs> Jenny don't want to tell him he fired neither. Why <laughs> choke Jenny? At? I can't believe he was speaking like that in front of them little girls. Clean it up, sir. Mm. Clean but it up. <laughs> to, to the question, though, uh, do, do the Lakers want need DeJounte Murray? And what he wants in a wiser league, we're trying to make this happen and divide the Hawks. It, listen, it, it don't matter who we trade. It, it don't matter who we trade. If the coaching mindset is defense, he going to play the guys that he feels that he needs to play, right? Um, and that's the problem with some of these older coaches who come from the older system, right? Their value of we need defensive mindsets to go stop offensive players, which has never been that way, right? Usually if your defensive player is a defensive player, he can't put the ball in the basket too. It wasn't like, oh, we got, you know, Kmart and we don't have to worry about Kmart on offense, right? That was never the case, right? So, you know, some of these guys are, they got a starting point guard that'll play three minutes and then sell them out and put the real guy in. The fuck do you need just the fuck do you need these three minutes for? What do you need these three minutes for? Just put the guy who's who belongs as a starter. This is how you need to look at your your, your lineup, Ham. When you when you look at the player and you be like, all right, Cam, all right. Ask yourself, can he start on any other team in the NBA? If the answer is no, motherfucker, he shouldn't start for us. 
right? Vandal, can you play 21 minutes on any other team? If the answer is no, he shouldn't get 21 minutes on our team. We have players starting that would not start on any other franchise. That means they shouldn't be starting on ours. If we can take them and trade them and they don't start, they shouldn't start here. That's how you're supposed to be evaluating your talent. If you can't start on 29 other teams, well, goddamn it, you can't start on this one either. Sit your ass on the bench. <laughs> Nick, do you agree or disagree? Fucking G League players we done got on this team. Nah, well, yeah, but people do leave the Lakers and start, like, blossoming, though. It's Who? like, what's the uh, dude that was there that talked to Pippen one? He on Milwaukee balling. <laughs> Malik he was Beasley. 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 He, he was up, but he was good, though. <laughs> Uh, That's how you describe him. He was a scorer. He wasn't. He wasn't like. He, he, no, he wasn't like that. No, he said that was the one that was smashing and passing the whole year. <laughs> I like that. Not soon. Not a single. You could have made this way. Come does on, on the court. man. What's wrong? He played this uh, way. At all. No, you couldn't just come up with the name. Look, he just he could have just said the name. But you you but picked that all quick. got it though. That's yeah. the thing. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nah, so you saying players leave the Lakers? They the, the, the gist yeah, yeah. of that, for sure, for sure. But I don't know. It's hard to. What, what do you got? They they went and got this this summer though. They signed these players back this. And we summer. was high. We was high. I was yeah, high. They, it was a. They came off a big high. They made it to the Western Conference Finals. So you with this same team, minus like Woods and the dude from Miami. So Gabe we Vincent. Vincent. Vincent, yeah. Where he at? Hurt, you know. He's still in Miami. We, we, we. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's hurt though. Right. They got a team for the liquor stores. Like they found all these people on the corner and said, "Come on, man, we can play some defense." Play some defense. <laughs> Would Dejounte Murray help or hurt the Lakers this season? That's what I said. He yeah. would. He would help if they, they, they would play. Shit, look, the young kid Christie will help us if you put him in the game. If you put him in the game, he will help. Like I, at this point. At this point, you shouldn't even be playing these guys because their their trade value is root is is, is not there, <laughs> right? I, I don't know who you're gonna trade for. Like, yeah, we're gonna package and we're gonna package these, but nobody want these players. If I'm trading, I, I don't want Van, right? I don't want Cam. Like, so, I, so certain team? No, nah, I don't want them. Certain teams that has primary scores and stuff like that. Like, I think he's serviceable, though. Who? Yeah. Vanderbilt. Yeah. On the right team? Yeah. On the Lakers, he's kind of serviceable no. last year. On the right team, when you got other guys around him that can score, like, you can hide him out there. But I can hide him this on the bench, too. No, but uh, in this situation, he's out there with three other guys that is... It's the same. At the yeah. same time. Same right? Same. If he's... Just say, defense, if he's in Denver, and you put him out there with... Porter, Murray, Joker, KCP. You don't need him to do nothing. Like they did Bruce Brown. Right? right? They don't need him to do nothing. Bruce Brown scored, though. No. Uh, on, not, man, he was, yeah, he like, get every he now like and every, again, yeah. Gil. But if he out there like that in a situation like that, he can. he's serviceable. If you put him in a situation like Phoenix where you got three scores, you don't need him to score. Mm -hmm. But in this situation where the Lakers have a hard time scoring, it stands out more that he's a bigger liability in this situation with the Lakers because they don't have the pieces around him to hide that the fact that he's a, I'm saying that he can't shoot. I know where they can use he's him. A star, I get it. You don't like the little guys. I understand. You was always a star. No, I know, no, no. I mean, the little so guys pass. The little take guy the ball like out of bounds. That. Take the ball out of bounds. That's what he's good for. That that's little pig here. That's what he's good for. See, you got to appreciate that when you're a star, but nobody on the Lakers really scores like that. So. But that's what makes it But that's what makes yeah. it jump out. Like, yeah, because outside of AD and Bron, yeah. it's a it's a, it's like, it's a, like, yeah, it's not, it's, listen, it's not that he can score. The problem with me, with them, is you don't shoot the ball. Like, Reeves started yesterday, 30 minutes, shot the ball five times. Yeah, see, the fuck are you on the yeah. court for? But, yeah, but that, irrita mind, that irritates me. And, but but it comes into coaching, too, but like you always are, say, right? All of them are doing it now. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. But, but him, Vanderbilt, bro. right? He's mine, though. Go back to Vanderbilt. Your best attribute is your, your activity, mm -hmm. right? The ball comes swinging dry, that motherfucker, man. 
Like, go put pressure at the rim. You ain't got to shoot the bit, but you doing something to help us mm -hmm. on offense. Shoot not your best attribute. I get you worked at it. Cool. If you make one every three, four games and patch on your ass, good job. That bitch come, you, man, we know you where you're going. Mm -hmm. You're going goddamn left. So mm -hmm. pit that motherfucker left, get to the rim. You might make a play, miss that bitch, go get it. Like, just activity offensively mm -hmm. creates a problem. So we just, you just sitting over in the corner, that motherfucker come to you, and you, <laughs> oh, shit, where Bron at? <laughs> like, no, no, like, that ain't what, that, that's not going to help the fucking team. Yeah. And that's where a conversation from coaching comes into play which I don't think enough coaches do, is have these conversations on how you can be effective to help us. Mm -hmm. Instead of letting me try to figure it out like, well, shit, I need to get better at shooting corner threes. That ain't, you're never going to be good at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> never? You can be decent. You can be decent. You can be yeah, decent. I'm, I'm, this, is, this is the honest, you can work your ass off. Some guys, it's not in the cards to make fucking threes. That's just what, to be a consistent mm -hmm. three-point shooter, no matter how hard you work at it, you're behind the eight ball right now. Because mm -hmm. that ain't what you grew up, that ain't what you grew up learning to do to be successful and be, get a scholarship to go to school and do certain things. That ain't what got you there. So for you to try to implement, I'm going to be this, drop that dead shooter, you're fooling yourself. And these people around you and these coaching staffs are failing you, not telling you the truth and not having these conversations with you on how you can help us. Do your best thing. If you're not averaging three offensive rebounds a night, you're doing us a disservice. Mm -hmm. If you're not putting pressure on the rim with your drives, you're, actually, you're doing us a disservice. If, he, if, they, if they're not having those conversations the, the Reeves kid, if you play 30 minutes a night and you take less than 12 shots, I can't play you. Can't play you. These are the conversations that they don't have. Yeah. Because they scared to hurt God's feelings. They scared of what God might think and how he going to feel after the conversation. Damn that. If you're trying to win and you're trying to keep your damn job, you got to have these hard conversations on how you can help us win. And if, we, and if I don't have these conversations and then you, your play is, is the product of us not talking and you trying to figure it out, then you, one of us is going to be out of a job or both of us going to be out of a fucking mm -hmm. job. So you better start having these conversations with these players and tell them exactly what it is, why you're not playing, what can you do to start playing, and if you are playing and you're doing these things, good job. Like, it's not enough of it going on. <clears throat> I remember with us, right? We mm -hmm. remember we playing um, playing Miami, right? I had to tell him, "Hey, we got D Wade. <laughs> we got D Wade. We need you to shoot ball. Every time I call your number, like, every time I call your number, you shoot it on him. You don't need to pay because we got to guard him on defense, right? So we got to get him tired some way. So." He take, hey, D-Wade take 20 shots, you take 20 shots. Right? I need you to equal this motherfucker. I got charm. <laughs> I'm going to beat my matchup. You beat that matchup. So I got right? charm. Right? Boy, that almost got me cooked that game, right, too. <laughs> Better go at him, Nick. You don't go, go know about him. him. <laughs> you don't know about him yet. You don't know about him yet. What, you have about 20-something? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was doing that D-Wade shit, too. If you offended by me telling you you need to shoot more, then we're going to have a problem anyway. Right, and 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 that's the thing. It's like, I, if I'm on if I'm on that team, or coaching the team. Hey, y'all, I'm trying to score 100, 20, 25, right? 100, 20, 25. So if I put you in and you ain't helping to get to that number, just go ahead and just, you don't even put your jersey on. Don't even put your jersey on, right? You don't, you don't need your you don't need your jersey on. Other than that, like you need to take 12 shots. You need to take. You coming off the bench, man. Three offensive rebounds, some layups, at least take 10 shots. Right, but you coming in two, five, seven. Y'all played a combined 90 minutes, got 11 shots. Yeah, the, get off his rebound and kick that bitch back. You never hear a coach three. telling somebody to shoot the ball. I, I, I never heard a coach tell me to. Hey, when you get in the game, you shoot it every time, except for probably like Dan Tony, because mm -hmm. that was his system. But Darvin Ham is more, I know he's telling them to play defense instead of to shoot it. Uh, 
it's easier to scheme and like I've been I've been hearing your your point about like guys who's supposed to be defenders and outscoring guys. And I've been thinking about it. And I'm like, you can scheme guys who are technically not good defenders. Mm -hmm. You can help them out with schemes and putting them in certain positions. Because there's fucking five of y'all out there. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're playing a fucking individual <laughs> <Yeah>. defense <laughs> all the time. But you can, and to not to just give straight line drives up. Like if you express certain, certain points of emphasis every day, mm -hmm. Guys buy into it. So for if you a bad got, defender. You know, for, yeah. for a bad defender. Mm -hmm. And not everybody is that, like, for most scores, they're not, unless you're small in stature, like a Trey Young or somewhere, mm -hmm. you physically at a disadvantage in some nights with at certain positions, but your, your output on the other end kind of it offsets that. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is in that deficit every night. Mm -hmm. To where we just gonna run post up, we're gonna put you, we're gonna run you off screens, beat you up, all that. Like, not everybody's in that deficit every night. So you can help those scores out who are not the the best defenders by scheme and stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm so I've been hearing what you're saying. So having more scoring on the court, absolutely. Like at each position, it'd be definitely beneficial to the Lakers to what you've been saying. Now, what do you yeah. think the lineup should be? Now they gotta trade some of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, no, it absolutely. Yeah. But if you're gonna start them, you gotta start Rui, you gotta start motherfucking Reeves, D Lo. And you got that has best to be five. Your, put your best. Five, that's what I'm saying. When, when did like they start saving not, like one of the best five on the bench? And no, no, listen, got, dude, as dude, much like, as I yo, as much as I think about Chris Wood, like I think he sucks at like every aspect of the game other than scoring. He can fucking help. Yeah. Like one thing he is going to do is shoot the fucking basketball, yeah. and he gonna look for his shot before anything and anything else. Yo, he can help. Like put like. He, he, Scoring. Offense helps the Lakers. The reason more offense helps the Lakers is because AD and LeBron don't get double as much. Mm -hmm. The lane is open more if there's more scores. But if you're putting all this defense in, when they are trying to drive, it becomes a harder task for them. It becomes hard. That's why it's hard to double Jokic. Right, he got five. He got four of the players that can shoot the ball too. Yeah. That's why it's hard to guard uh, Tatum. Everybody on the court can shoot, so you <laughs> can't double or nothing off of them. Right, same thing with um, um, Curry. They had people who made plays, so you can't just sit on them. It, but you got to trade for that. You said name teams like what am, Boston got a damn near All Star team. No, but, but you just no. You have players, man. You just, no. And that's to go back to the conversation, man. Them film sessions and conversations, dog. Come on, you know that. But you still, I think they do still need to make a move. With this you team, you're not still, I don't think they could beat like Clippers in a seven game series. No. The, the problem it, is, even if they shoot the ball a thousand times. But, we, but the problem is, we don't know because he's never put the best five on the floor. What? They started the year with Reeves, D Lo, and. No, they didn't. Uh, Rui? No, he didn't. D'Lo Reason? No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Rui wasn't playing it. It wasn't, wasn't Rui, but it was Reeves and D'Lo. Then they put Reeves to the bench. Yeah. So we asked the chat. That's that's that that name, name, other, name, name any other team in the NBA where there's two guys, where there's two guys on the bench that should be starting. The, I don't know, but they did. No one does, look, no one they does that a shit. Damn in season tournament. Yo. I don't, so how many different start? <laughs> how many well, different starting like, lineups has the Lakers had this year? A, a significant amount. Uh, he, that, that's when you know your team's. That's how you know you got because you have two guys who you start all the time, mm -hmm. and them other three guys you've been every motherfucking night you've been putting them bitches in a hat. <laughs> I told you we was in this motherfucker playing CeeLo the other day, like <laughs> seeing who which three you gonna play. Like and it shouldn't be that if you should, if you ain't got. Three consistent guys, somebody well, to add. Torian Prince has started. Yeah. Every, 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 game. Like, that's what I said, him, like, him or Rui at that point, but Reeves and your backcourt, Reeves and what, that just opens the floor, right? I can come off the, I can come off the bench with whatever for a few minutes, right? It, it's like, it's, it's like you're trying to save someone's legs. The only way you're going to save it, if it's, if it, if it helps on both ends of the floor. I think the only way you save his legs is if you get rid of him. 
all the other people. <laughs> so <laughs> imagine, imagine Boston. Imagine Boston right now having Porzingis and White and Drew coming off the bench. One of them got to come off the bench, though. Right, right, come up. No. Which one starts? Not all of them start. So, so I'm saying, so imagine Drew? putting them three on the bench and then putting in three people who don't play. How hard is it becomes for Tatum and Brown? Wait, wait. It becomes harder. All what? of them start. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Wait, Al Horford come off the bench? Al Horford come off the bench? Yeah, Al Horford come off the bench. Yeah. Rightfully so. <laughs> Most of right, that's yeah, what I'm saying. He's been tripping lately. He's been tripping. So, so we asked the you chat, uh, did, did blood Ham blood save blood. his job uh, with the win last night? We got over 3,000 votes. 19% said yes. <laughs> 81% said Hack no. your shit. Damn. Lexi, you were at that game. How, how stagnant and whack does that Lakers offense look with that defensive-minded line? Yeah, I mean, like Kenya said, like, they catch the ball and they're like, where's Bron? Like, immediately. Like, they don't even look at the basket. They don't look to make a play. And then when they get in the huddle, like I said, coach does not say anything to anybody. Like, he's, like, trying to give them high fives. They're kind of like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not listening to you, but... Um, you can tell, like, there's moments in the game where Braun is, like, extremely frustrated, so he'll, like, go make a play like he did on Paul George and try to, like, give the team some energy, and it, like, never works. So, let's talk about the Clippers. Where well, right. have you seen a coach get fired after going to the Western Conference Finals and now winning an in-season tournament and still get fired in, a, in two years? Frank Vogel. Uh, Frank Vogel won championship. <laughs> Shit, he but won that, that that championship. Yeah, motherfucker won uh, the Toronto. Coach. Toronto. The Bucks coach won? Nah, the one before that. Uh, um... Okay, Dwayne Casey was praising this man. Hey, that was just Dwayne, 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 Dwayne Casey was, was coach of the year. I was just saying, Ham was, was the, the best. Thing. Ham coach of the ever. years are getting yeah, right. but they got Ham. smacked. Give it to Ham. Ham was the savior. But now we kind of we smart, right? We smart. We know how to adjust. Go Ham. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> right, we smart. We, we not delusional, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's At some delusional. point, it ain't ham fault. It is. At some because, point. because think about it. You've been on the bench, right? And, and they playing somebody in there you know ain't even close to you. And he getting 30-something minutes. What that make you feel like? One, it make you hate the coach. Yeah. You start hating the player. Yeah. Right? You sitting there bitter. Now you got three people on the bench sitting there like, man, that's some good. He's look at these niggas out here, right? Who then you, was that on the bench though? D, you think D Lo? He starts. They just no. been hurt. No, he he. They came off the bench like eight games, some games. D Lo came off the bench. They had Prince Cam. Nah, I, yeah, they, started they started Prince, Prince Cam, Prince Cam. and yeah, yeah, that's when I got mad. You can't Reeves. Why you think Reeves is mad? Like, come on, like. If you're going to put somebody in front of me, come on. But he got to be the what dude. What was the conversation they had to put Austin Reeves on the bench? Because when that first happened, everyone was like, that's it a, was good a good move. move. It was. And then me. all of a sudden, I felt like because he horrible. had his own time to shine. Because the Lakers need, they needed that six man. And it was working at the time for sure. A six man is, listen, a six man is cool, but you got... Three of them in the, in the lineup. Prince is a no, six man. Prince Somebody is a six don't man. get left out. What I'm saying is Prince is a six man. Hell no. Prince is a defender starter right now. For okay, me. then who, who, who else? Then I got to have Rui and Reeves in. If he's a defender starter. No. If he's a have, defender starter, then I need, I need Rui, I need Rui and, and Reeves in the starting lineup. Because this is my defensive yesterday. guy. So when I'm subbing, all right, he Cam, you go in for Prince. Guys. Cam go in for Prince. Yeah. Right? That's how you're supposed to Cam go in for Prince. For sure. All right, Van, that. go in for Cam. Right? You three, you three motherfuckers just rotate. Trouble. Huh? If somebody in foul trouble. trouble. I'm with that. I, like I the, only time, the only time Van should get in the game, in the game, is when we down and we need to pick up full court. I, I'm, I'm not for all, all <laughs> Sick of them starting. Not all of them Sick starting. <laughs> Sick not all em. starting. You can't, they had too many liquor store dudes at the same time. <laughs> so I get that. But at the same time, they've been trying to do that transformer shit. That ain't working neither. You can't. Then we need, then we need seven players out there. <laughs> you can't. Hey, rap, these two niggas are the same. <laughs> yeah. They combine. They 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 they've been trying to combine Deloitte and Reeves Defense into a third star for the whole season. They're like, these two is going to be our third star. <laughs> 
on the face You only see one of the faces on offense and one of them on defense. We got pit shooter. Hey, ref, we got a pit shooter. He gonna play defense. He gonna come in off. Where the half like the drill you used to do. Where the half play. You run off and you run off. The transition drill. Man. Y'all are wild, but uh, let's keep this thing moving. <laughs> we, got, we got to talk about... Hey, that's some funny shit. Right? Hey, you going for all yeah, you going for defense. Like wait, just sit at the half court. At the scores. You got to wait till he gets the half court before you go. Hey, you got to go to the line. You got to touch, touch half court before you, <laughs> before you, before you come in. Straight across and go. All right, well, let's talk about uh. another team in California, uh, <laughs> these Golden State Warriors. Warriors got some good news this weekend when Draymond Green's indefinite yeah. suspension was ended after 12 games. Green is back with the team. Let's give it up for Draymond. <laughs> Green is back uh, with the team, but expected to, to need a week to ramp up before returning to the court. Uh, couldn't come at a better time as Chris Paul is out for the next four to six weeks with a fractured left hand. Damn. And reports are that Jonathan Kaminga has lost faith in Steve Kerr. <laughs> in addition to the fire Kerr hashtag that was trending this weekend after the embarrassing loss to the Nuggets on Thursday. So Draymond discussed his suspension of a, on an episode of his podcast that dropped today, and he also talked about a conversation he had with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. I had a conversation with Adam Silver, Commissioner of our league. I just told him, Adam, it's too much for me. Like, this is too much. It's all becoming too much for me, and I'm going to retire. And Adam said, ah, you're making a very rash decision, and I won't let you do that. You know, we had a long, great conversation, very helpful to me, very thankful uh, to play in a league with a commissioner like Adam, uh, who's more about helping you than hurting you or helping you than punishing you or, you know, he's more about the players. So Draymond also told a story on that same podcast about how after the suspension, he, he stayed in his man cave for a couple of days and his kids didn't know where he was at. Only his wife knew he was down there. Then he FaceTimed his three-year-old daughter and she recognized the man cave in the background, ran in there, went and grabbed him out, brought him back to reality. But Gil, start with you. What are your thoughts Don't on that? Don't start with me. Uh, <laughs> start with me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Navy <laughs> SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's up with you? What your thoughts on Draymond <laughs> saying he was considering retirement after slapping the shit out of Nurk and getting suspended? Uh, I don't know. It's retired, you got three left on that thing, on that deal. Uh, that's, uh, if I look at that aspect, I call cap. If you look at the money aspect of it, I call cap. Okay. But. In reality, if I'm taking the money aspect out of it, I can understand his point of view with it. Um, yeah, you, you, like you said, it ain't about <laughs> changing the spots on the leopard, mm -hmm. which you're right. Like so, he's he's realizing who he who he is and accepting it. <laughs> and realize I ain't gonna be able to slap shit out of nobody else. <laughs> so, so I probably That's a difficult thing to real. I mean, yeah, so I probably want to sit at home and Same. I can't choke yeah, it no more. Yeah, yeah, I can't uh, choke motherfuckers, man. I'm so. pretty sure that's how the conversation was. Uh -huh. So, uh, <clears throat> um, do I get to? Uh, can I still use my eye gouge? <laughs> no, Draymond. Okay, okay, okay. My no, I, uh, no, I, no, I, no, I poke. Okay. Slap a motherfucker when they touch me. <laughs> no, Draymond. Okay, okay. Uh, if someone touched my teammates, can I put them in a figure four chokehold? No, Draymond. All right, all right. If I see a Euro on the floor, can I kick him in the chest blade? <laughs> no, Draymond. Well, why the fuck am I out here then? Right. Huh? Don't give me a jersey. <laughs> Shit, I retire. <laughs> like, I'm what? pretty sure that's how that went. <laughs> why is this? It's just all very dramatic. Yeah. What do you feel like is dramatic about it, Alexis? Just, just the whole conversation with Adam Silver, like, Stop putting your hands on people on the court. Well, it's, not, it's, it's the easier said than done. <laughs> I'm just like, well, why are we doing it? It's all hard to tell a, a Navy SEAL to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's hard when you like, get to Draymond, the challenge. Keep your hands to yourself. When you program like, a I fight. I quit. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> no, I quit. Like, what? Uh, I don't know. You, <laughs> you are a multi-millionaire. Keep your freaking hands to yourself. And stop. <laughs> that's what makes, but if Draymond can't be Draymond, yeah. that's what makes it. Who is Draymond? That's what I said, if you really think about the concept. <laughs> yeah, he's being all he could be. He said, so I can't, I just can't, I, can't I just can't people. fuck people up when I want to. No, Draymond. Well, and it was just, don't give I me a jersey. Quit. <laughs> Keep the $50 million, I quit. Don't I give me no good. Don't give me no good. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm, he looks. Uh, he does sound a little legend. remorseful. <laughs> you know, because okay. this. So he says some like he, he like so. Oh, it's kind of not to have jokes, but but on the serious <laughs> side, right? He um he made some statements about just his time, right? His time away and being at home with his family, and he's. When you've been away for that, like he's probably the longest he's been away from the team during the season. Mm -hmm. And you can't go to the facility, you can't do certain things. He could, though. Well, but not with the team. He, no, he was allowed to practice with right? the team, but he, he didn't. Oh, well, shit, they changed that. But he did. They changed that. He didn't, though. Oh, well, fuck. I told you they changed that rule. <laughs> Damn, I still for nothing. They changed but, the rule? Yeah, yeah, yeah so when you get but, minute, you can But can you, to your point, he, he, he was eligible to do that. He didn't. Steve Kerr said that they hadn't seen him, they, they were giving him his space, and he was giving them their space. During that suspension, so he didn't practice with the team. So he was, according to Steve uh, Kerr, we don't know. Okay, so well, 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 they go back to my point. Out, well, it was statement I was gonna make then. When you are at home for that, like that stint of time, and no basketball is being played, you can go work out, but but you're not playing. We all retired, right? Mm -hmm. So it's an adjustment, and we realize we got all the time in the world, so we think. Until you start with kid activities, you start doing certain things, your wife need this, this need to get done, this. and you like, damn, where did they go? Mm -hmm. And he said, like, he realized, like, how do I have less time now that, not, now that I'm not doing my full-time thing? Like, like, how does that work? Like, mm -hmm. shit. And then you realize the job that, like, your significant other's doing, if you got kids at home. Like, then you realize that shit, like. Damn, ain't nothing, ain't nothing being like neglected. Everything is done. The kids bathe, homework done. They ate. They did. Like so, now you're like, damn. You start looking around. And you realize, mm -hmm. like, well, maybe this. So, so a little bit of that probably didn't creep in. Like yeah. a little bit, like that sincere that you hear in his voice, is that like you you being at home with them kids every day, them waking you up, you taking them to school, picking all, all, all those things yeah. that you didn't get to do before because you're playing, you're on the road, you're missing out on these things. And, and you realize that you enjoy doing those things. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, eh, but I still got this obligation over here to go play. But it, can you <clears throat> honestly see Draymond not doing nothing? On the court no more, like not doing something, like punching somebody, pushing somebody. So, no. but, but does it? It's hard. I, I think but the question for y'all is: Does this video put even a, 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 in all the yeah. comments and statements that he's making? Does that put a bigger target on his back now? Because no. if you know Draymond as a prayer previously, I'm just saying for other guys to no. be able to poke no. the bear and know you're so, not gonna do shit. No, no. See, this is the thing, man. And I can. You and and, and I spoke on it before, right? And to Gills, I'm always talking about this. There's no when just, just like nerd shit. If he was grabbing him doing that shit, like you ain't have to off top just roundhouse, right? Yeah, you have to roundhouse today. Now there has to be more for somebody to do more to him in situations to agitate for him to react to something. It can't be the little shit anymore, right? I take it. From, I'm a prime example. Like, I. I had the conversation with, if you want to continue to be a part of this league, you're going to change your ways. Okay, cool. I didn't play any less intense. I still was out there, and, and y'all was on opposite teams than me. And I had that conversation in year two or three with David Stern. I played fucking 12 more years. When we played together, I, I didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa same That's shit. I'm, I didn't change anything. I just wasn't, I knew that, where I had to get to, and but, but I didn't change that. 
So kind of different. You know, that's why yeah, I keep trying you, to tell them. You, you, you cut, y'all different. <laughs> I keep trying you to tell them. You didn't spin and hit it. Yeah, you, no. You wasn't yeah, doing I wasn't, I wasn't doing you none wasn't of that. You wasn't kicking yeah, it yeah, in none, for none no of reason. None of those, yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, he kicked somebody my in the chest. He kicked somebody in the chest. True. My intensity. You ain't never like, kicked somebody <laughs> in the chest on the court. So My intensity of the way I played is the way. Uh, but he don't have to change that aspect of it. But you just gotta let motherfuckers know out there. Like you ain't gotta continue to do it, but in that environment, mm -hmm. dude, I'm gonna tell you straight up, dude. You keep it up, though. I'm gonna be at your locker room. Yeah, see, so you like, have, it's shit like that. Like, it's a, yeah, you have patience, oh, so you I ain't never yours build up. I just want to get you here. He can dunk. He can dunk. Hit a three, and someone jab him right here. Boom! Like, yeah, <laughs> see, and that's what that's he did. Yeah, yeah. He needs yeah. a shot. He needs a shot. <laughs> natural basketball motion. Yeah, that's I just think they should just motion. give him his own little rules. Look, here, like, right like Stan Van Gundy. Hey, <laughs> Stan Van Gundy. Look. Here. All right, we playing the Lakers today. Hey, Lakers. Put your elbow pads on, knee pads, <laughs> put your little boxes and blades, wear your little, what's it ain't because Draymond coming. We don't know what Draymond. he going to do today. <laughs> we don't know what he going to do. He got 32 minutes in the game, all right? Anything can happen. This just should be it just, Draymond has his own set of rules, right? We go Draymond playing in, in, in 82, <laughs> or he playing in 89. Right? He Detroit Pistons, we're going to give him whatever rules the Detroit Pistons had that, we're just going to give it to Draymond and Draymond only, and then we can all feel better about it. So, <laughs> referees, referees, media, whatever Draymond do, we just going to look the other way. <laughs> Wait, okay, no, so the next... We're just going to look the other way. The next right? incident, because it's going to, there is going to be one, I think. No, no time soon. Then what happens then? I'm not suspending them. It depends on what it is. Next, yeah, it might happen. Because now he's like basically put Adam Silver in his little pocket. He's like, Adam Silver left. <laughs> Adam Silver said, no, Draymond, please. Don't leave. Right. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. That's Draymond. Draymond. Maybe that was oh, very for real. smart Draymond thing Draymond is to entertaining. Do. We need you to talk one more. Yeah, he is entertaining, man. You ain't I even mean, got with me Draymond's yet. a smart man. Uh, like, smart that was a man. power play on his part. Yo. Adam Silver was at my house. The idea, this, yo, the idea of shit would be his first game back. Knock the shit out of somebody. And then be like, yo. I'm retiring. <laughs> Yo, first game, game, first quarter. He cocked back saying, no, I can't do that no more. First game, first qu qu quarter. <laughs> How you get... Right I believe leaving you, Draymond. That's yeah, and I don't cool. think he's going to do nothing no time soon, man. I just, I think he had, a, he had a come to Jesus moment. <laughs> come to Jesus come moment. To Jesus. <laughs> And he, yeah, I really don't think it's going to happen no time yeah, soon. Yeah, that one was all, yeah, even he had to look in the mirror after that one. That was sick. That was, that was, come on, man. He did a roundhouse punch. Not nerd. Stop, brother. After a pitch, though. You what made you, got... like, turn around, do a spit? Like, it was, The brother on, said, <laughs> be all you can be. The brother said, if I can't do none of this shit that I used to do, I got Quit. This shit too much for me. <laughs> hey, are y'all not listening to what this he's is saying? Too much for me. The, this is not, too but wait, much. remember, it ain't happening to him oh, where he right. quit. He's, he's saying all this shit right here that y'all could cry about. <laughs> this shit is just too much. Y'all suspended me because I choked him. You suspended me because I slapped the fuck out of him. I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> I can't keep taking all these suspensions for fucking people up. Uh, what happened to so the game I love? <laughs> so no, either y'all adjust or I'm out of here, okay? Huh? Either y'all just start looking the other way when I fuck a motherfucker up. Stop going to the goddamn replay. Yes. If you don't catch it in real time, leave me alone. Uh, I quit. No, nah, it gotta be a replay. Nah, because you don't nah. re realize what he's doing. If is. you don't catch it in real nah. time, it looks uh, way it worse than slow motion. Yeah. Huh? That's what what y'all doing is y'all going to the replay, breaking it down in slow motion. Everything look worse in slow motion, huh? You start looking at the face ID <laughs> like, God damn it, mother. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you a European mother. Like, it looks right. worse in slow motion. So y'all gotta take that future out. Like, <laughs> like can I can just like listen to up. like you got to break down how he's saying it though. He's saying that this is all this is all too, too much, much for me. me. <laughs> like, y'all over here suspending me, taking my money, and all I'm doing just fucking your rose up. Look, man, you when, act like I'm. When has it been bad? Like I hit my people. people. <laughs> I hit my people. I hit the black people. My country out this month. <laughs> I'm protecting the community. <laughs> This Don't leave me to that. I quit. <laughs> oh, I man, quit, I Adam. This, the black community is dead in my heart. I ain't kicking them, man. 
Mm-mm. Nick, you played with the Warriors, won a ring with them. What was Draymond like as a teammate? Uh, he was, well, he got a little bit of gill in him. He got a little bit of gill in him. <laughs> what is that? He, like? Yeah, yeah, just exactly like the that. talk. They like the screen. Like, like when I played with Gil, if I didn't do something right, he, the motherfucker ain't ready. Don't put him in. <laughs> Say that shit out loud to the coach and shit. So Draymond did some similar shit. I shot the ball. He like, nigga, we don't do that shit here. We don't shoot that type of shot here. I said, nigga, Curry just shot the same shot I shot. You don't say that shit to him. He said, it's different. He won the championship. He ain't win shit yet. So I was like, all right, man, fuck it. Like, you know what? <laughs> they took me out. Like, they like, I don't know why they like to take me out after, like, you would cuss me out and then take me out. Like, look, I felt bad. Look, uh, I, I do still uh, feel bad yeah, for that. Cause, day, cause we was day. we was playing with, like, we was playing y'all. We was playing Nuggets, right? To this day, we was playing the Nuggets. Yeah. We was playing Nuggets. Y'all was, all, y'all was already whooping our ass, so th- we was already getting the ass whooped. <laughs> so the fact that he put four of them in there, hold on, we ain't getting our ass whooped for four motherfucking rookies to get in. Yes, y'all you know what I mean? Like, yo, we at the beginning of the fourth. You put. Four of them in already, and then they coming in. We go down. Oh eight, man! If these motherfuckers ain't ready, get their asses out. But the thing is, they was already down eighteen. You go oh, down twenty two. What's, like, What's the difference? Y'all, what's the difference? Y'all are down twenty. Let us yeah. move. I had to take it out on somebody. Goddamn! I wasn't gonna blame myself. I wasn't exactly. gonna blame myself. I had that same situation. They didn't want to take me out. They didn't want to throw money. Y'all at me down twenty. Oh yeah, I had, yeah. I had to pay for his. Uh, I had to pay for his love back. Yeah, they they, they want to go shopping. Oh my. Bad. You know how the, your father fucked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, why you want to get some ice cream? Yeah, go get some shoes, shoes out of there, man. man. Like like those? Yeah, go get those Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are fucking wild. Yeah, I man. get that treatment. No, I feel so bad. Look, I feel so bad because they oh, ain't see the flow. Yeah. Y'all done played it for like a week. Yeah, it was two like weeks. Five and six games. We didn't play for. <laughs> Like D D and P, D and P. Like I felt so bad, did, man. But you like, took your shopping guy, got you. They had a shop, man. Go ahead, and get you some nice. They over start there, playing man. once they got a, like a real blowout. They start gradually putting us in one by one. <laughs> it was crazy. I, that's when I realized how much power <laughs> the star got on the team. That's my first time with power. <laughs> It was very early, too. <laughs> I've seen it right away in my rookie year. So, uh, let's get back to these Warriors. Uh, currently 17 and 19. Damn. 11th in the West. Mm. I know. Damn. And it, you know, I'm a LeBron fan, a Warriors hater by extension, and I, it's sad to me. It's sad to me to watch this shit. Not like this, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tough it up. Yeah. But how much of a difference maker will Draymond be back in the Warriors line? Oh. Uh, I don't know. I think I think they still relying on that the the Steph and the old guys too much. I think they need to play like Kaminga and cause they had some good a good young core that they never really let blossom with Wiseman, with Poole, Kaminga. They they did draft some good players, but I've never seen Wiseman again. He only played about five games. Kaminga now don't like her. I think he he don't really show that much interest in the other guys to me that much. So Warriors seven and eight with Draymond. You mentioned Kaminga. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, obviously, Dre is back in the mix after sitting the final eighteen minutes of the Nuggets loss. A report dropped that Kaminga had lost faith in Steve Kerr. Uh, Kerr responded by saying in his 15 years as a player, he was frustrated about playing time every season. But you're watching the Warriors now, you're looking at this squad. Should Kaminga be playing over Draymond? It ain't about who he should be playing over. He should be playing. He should be playing. There's minutes for him for sure. That's what I'm saying. Lots of minutes for him. Lots of minutes. Right, you're not, that's what I said, you're, it's his third year, right? So, what you have to ask yourself is, if he's not ready by now, you got to blame yourself because you've had him for third year. Mm-hmm. you had him for three years now. So whatever you've been doing for the third year, it should be blossoming now. So the only way that you can see the progression is to play it, right? Like, you're going to need him at some point if you're going to keep him. If he hasn't went through this, this phase of playing through his mistakes, then when, when it's time for him to get big minutes, he's going to be mentally a rookie. He's not going to have the confidence, right? So th- this is the time. You, you, your team's shit, right? Your team is shit. <laughs> For sure. 
right? Your team is shit. So at this point, you just start looking around. Hey, young fellas, let's get some burn. Let's get some playing. Hey, we got the, what, what's that shit they call that now? Um, uh, uh, management. Huh? Low management. Low management. Hey, uh, <coughs> uh, Wiggins. Yeah, we finna. Yeah, Wiggins. Yeah. You gonna have? You gonna we miss the next game? Low, goddamn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kaminga, yeah, Kaminga, yeah Kaminga, you gonna man. play next game? Hey, Clay. Low management, right? So you said they ain't got a chance. A chance to do what? That's the thing. They do they, what? they can win. Though. Yeah, they got. The only play. way you gonna win. The only way you That's gonna win. Said. Like the only way you gonna win is in to get better through these guys. So, yeah. like, like you did before. Yeah. yeah. Kaminga is gonna be a part of. Whatever success y'all have, so you got to play them. Play them 30, 35 minutes, right? Just, hey, you ain't playing today, all right? You taking a break. Come in and go. Tomorrow, you ain't playing. Come in and go ahead and play. Do you think there are only, <laughs> there's there's only minutes for him if someone just flat out sits out? No, there's uh, minutes, no, there's there's minutes for him with everybody there, there but. From them and let them all still play. But it make it easier for him if they're not playing. Yeah, it makes it easy. Like when, yeah, like, like when, 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 instead of 27, he can play 38. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, there's a reason John Wall didn't play in Houston. It wasn't because he could play. Yeah. Right? It was like, oh, shit, I need my young guys to play. Young guy, I ain't trying to win. Go and, and, yeah. and, 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 and get a... CP3 out the mix. That's 28 minutes a game that just opened up that they can now disperse. Gary Payton, he, 39, he's been out. Yeah. There's minutes for him. If you, <laughs> just the thing with it, man. If you want to play the guy, you can you can find minutes. Yeah, you can find minutes. For sure. Trust me. Yeah. Who is they four man over there? Is it Jackson? Who's the well, Trace Jackson Davis plays a little yeah. four or five, but I mean, even he's showing, I mean he's had some good games this year, but I'm talking about without Draymond there, like who was they starting? It had, I thought it probably had to be Kaminga. Yeah. Yeah. And be honest, brother, I'm not yeah, even lie to you. Like without that. Draymond there. I don't yeah. watch it. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, watching Curry, we know what he's going to do, yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah. once Draymond start whooping asses, it's like, oh, I just want to see who, who, get, who get fucked up this next game. <laughs> well, that's For real, not going to happen anymore, Gil. Huh? Yeah, they going to happen anymore. All right, y'all don't know Draymond. <laughs> All right. So Kaminga's, Kaminga started in Draymond's spot. Uh, and how much did he average when he started? Let me pull it up here. Hold on. Hurry your ass up, Steve. <laughs> He Ladies and gentlemen, we are a well, live show. He was playing real Niggas well. are not Doogie Hauser. <laughs> Kaminga. Remember yeah, they nah, said, ball, like, like, I like him. I think, uh, yeah, he's a young, athletic man. man. A lot of body like, want to yeah, play. Yeah. This is what I don't like, because you know, he's in his contract year. Yeah. So because he's in the contract year, he, oh, I, I'm yeah. pretty sure they don't want him playing. Yep. Because they're going to lose him. To this yep. next... You know, oh, you know. Because they did just pay pool with 150, but that was a part of the puzzle. No, but what I'm saying is if if they if they starting him and he playing 38 minutes, he started averaging about 15 a game, his value goes up. They probably don't want that ticket, right? If we can hold him down a little bit, give him like a five-year 30. That's you starting shit. next year, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to play 42. That's some shit. <laughs> 42 he minutes a more, game. He got to get more than that. The, he was six, nine athletic. Yeah. You know how they come on. You know how yeah, they do. Man. You don't know how they do, man. Nah, man. Hold that value down, quick they as shit. Do. They do. And they give you all the minutes. Got them on a discount rate. What's the as what? a young player, how tough is it dealing with not getting the minutes you think you deserve and being in a position like Kaminga, where you third year guy, you really oh, can't. Man. You know, it's tough. You can use the media to, as, as much as you want, but yeah, yeah. that's tough. Yeah, it's yeah, tough. That's I understand. Both of y'all can answer that question. Yeah. I wait. Oh yeah, you played. Well, I can ask that question. <laughs> you a star, but you did. You started off on a bench with, with the Warriors, motherfucker. I know, but I, I started off, but I wasn't good yet. You know what I'm oh, saying is, I didn't, I didn't know. In my mind, it let you tell it, you always been good. I no, left the college when I was no, no, 15, but, 16. Why you no, had to be at 19. No, I but left out of my second year. No, that's just me bragging. But what I'm saying is, I wasn't, I wasn't NBA ready yet. I wasn't NBA ready, so I wasn't sitting on the bench thinking I was better than the guy in front of me. Because, you know, for the most part, it was Mookie Baylock and, and Larry Hughes. So I wasn't better than them to be sitting there like mad, right? Yeah, I thought you I was, was better than them. I know, I know. That's why I'm saying this is your question, because you felt that you was better than the people we were starting. No disrespect to who was the shot. Uh, 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 Antonio Daniels. Antonio, man, Antonio Daniels. <laughs> that was crazy. Man. He's a fan of the show, Nick, so just like you I know. Love, that's my dog, okay. man. That's my dog. I used to crack jokes with him and Gil when they played AI. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got dropped, not me. <laughs> so, I was so, watching just like. She did not want to talk. He made that man Remember touch that? earth with both hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that man, <laughs> hey. What? That man touched earth with both hands. So, no, this being a certain starting to line up December 14th, Kaminga's averaging 14.5 and two and a half assists. Oh. Shooting about 50% hey. in the field. That's nice. There that's you go. Funny. Yeah, that's that, funny. But that's what I'm saying. As a, as a coach, you don't see that? 14-5. 14-5. That's off of getting the dirty buckets, too. Because... <laughs> He's a starter, <laughs> man. Oh, no, oh, no, one thing he when he in the game, you know, he's looking for his though. Huh? Yeah. And fifty-four percent, like yeah, right. even though you have Draymond, at this point, it's like which one helps out Clay, Curry, and Wiggins? Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. that's right. the shit you don't. And he was and he was out there with CP, right? Yeah, yeah. So you out there but. with a guy who's pass first, ain't go turn the ball, or go put you in the positions to be successful, give you the ball where you can. But catch, cool, shoot, like catch, dunk, it, catch, lay up. You ain't got to do too much thinking out this bitch. I'm going to give you the ball. Shoot it. Mm -hmm. Lob. Yeah. So we averaging more, So he's averaging more than Clay was as a starter. Sorry? No, Clay's about 16 range, 16.7. Oh, oh, he moved it up a little bit? How about Wiggins? It's another as a starter. Yeah, that, yeah. They don't want to pay him. I don't think and they got they the money to pay them no more, too. So they got to pay yeah. him with I mean, that first Wiggins something ball. crazy like they're minus like 150. Yeah, they got the, the court, money to pay him. Plus, plus 150 when, when he's not playing. Yeah, see, Shout yeah. out Anthony Slater from the Athletics. But it's rough. I mean, it's rough as a young, as a young player, but you got to mentally just like be in there. And, you know, Kaminga's statement, it lets you know that he's, he's fallen to that, that, that negativity of like, I'm, I'm mentally quitting. Yeah. Right? And that's when he's supposed to really be stronger. Like, mm -hmm. even though you can't really think about, you know, Kerr at this point, you got to think about this 29 other teams. You just need to be better. Right? At I'm some point, say, yeah, you know, cold. at some point, you don't know when Dre going to do Dre and they going to need you again. And when they need you again, you want to be a better version than the last time we seen you. Yeah. So you go two years, you don't play, right? So here you're four. You go two years, you don't play. Last year, you get more burn. A little more burn, mm -hmm. right? You're going to year four. You come out, this shit happened. Draymond out, then got again. Now you're doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Shit, this, this is my... This my time. Draymond ain't even back yet. Mm -hmm. And I don't play. I've been averaging 14. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm still fragile in basketball. Mentally. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm still fragile in basketball. So, it could be no his one, third year. So. Yeah, and, and no one is having these conversations with me. For him to, for this to be a thing, yeah, no, yeah. no, how yeah, legitimate it that. is. So, second year, uh, second season last second. year, Kaminga yeah. averaged, no, he's his third season. Third but, year, right. but last year, Kaminga averaged 21 minutes a game. This year, he's averaging 22.6. So, not, yeah, I'm you know, just saying. You know, on 22 minutes? Huh? No, no, this is just since oh, but but the, <laughs> For the whole season, he's averaging 13, uh, four rebounds. This is the first yeah. year we won a championship. Cool. Right? That's championship. Yep. Last year, we was all right. Yep. All right? Okay, cool. This year, we sorry. We sorry as fuck. He Give me some time. More. He should be playing more. Yeah, Give me yeah. some time. Year yeah, three, Devin should be playing more. For sure. There's no reason why he should. Yeah, he should be playing. average between 25 to 30. About 27 <laughs> I like what, night, what Miami night. be doing with right? that young Yeah, I would just say it like this. I mean, if Cam can play 36, 37 minutes, <laughs> motherfucking Vando can play 36 minutes, then, then the Kaminga can play 48 at this point compared to their talent. 48. That's the same record, doesn't it? It don't matter. Shit. <laughs> Kaminga, hey, you can come to the Lakers, baby. You know, <laughs> you can come to the Lakers and play Lakers. 48 minutes over here, shit. We got some minutes for you, Kaminga. <laughs> we, 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 we got some minutes. We got some minutes for you. We got some minutes for your ass. Shit. Hey, I don't even need, I, we don't even need to trade for you. Just drive the fuck up. It's going to take about, what, five hours, six hours? Come on. Put a jersey on. He going to put you in. He going to put it in. He going to put you in. Shit, just put a jersey on. <laughs> Hey, you, get in. Yep. 48. We got 48 for you over here. Well, Reddish, is, Reddish is all right, though. I like Reddish. So I don't care, man. To do care. what? Gil, come on. Uh, we we got to live here. The fuck he's going to do out there? We got to live here. What you mean? He's going to play defense. 
<laughs> do you know there's the other side of the ball too, right? You know this is the, 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 he got to play offense, right? So half the time he's on offense too. You know that, right? He going to get the lobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he ain't getting that, right? He going to be yeah. dunking fly like a motherfucker. Yeah, that motherfucker took... Uh, he the took motherfucker six, took what? He played 20 minutes. He took six the shots. Took he six. took six shots. That's just because the motherfucker mentally out of it right then now. Then if he mentally like, out of it. It's like LeBron, the coach, there's a lot going on. Everybody can't play in LA. Listen, That's I can do that on, listen, whatever your mental problem is, you can do that shit right on the bench. Over but the whole <laughs> team have a mental problem. They can all put on the bench right there. <laughs> they can all be on the bench right there. I don't Reed need. Reed shot five shots. On, on the bench right there. Just sit right there. Red is five shots. You want to play five? D-Lo, five shots. On the bench right shots. there. Uh, but on the bench right there. Uh, you got on the bench right there. Huh? All I need is five. I, I don't need to sub. <laughs> hey, Bron, listen, I know you mad at me right now, but look, I'm not subbing you out. <laughs> you the king, right? <laughs> Go be the king. Go be the king. Go be the king, then, goddamn, because you ain't coming out the game, motherfucker. <laughs> you sub yourself out on calling the timeout. <laughs> Let's keep what y'all do. <laughs> Let's keep this thing moving. Get I with, call all my time out back to back to back to back. God damn it! That's what they doing. Shit, they didn't play forty minutes. It's only. Yeah, we're gonna talk about one of your favorite teams uh, in the league, Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks have lost three of their last four games. What you about to say about them? Started to take a toll on their franchise player. Giannis dropped forty-eight against the Rockets on Saturday. It wasn't enough to get the win. After the game, Giannis called out the entire team and staff, even the equipment manager saying the following, we have to be better, we have to play better, we have to defend better, we have to trust one another better, we have to be coached better, every single thing, everybody has to be better, everybody. It starts from the equipment manager. He has to wash our clothes better. The bench has to be better. The leaders of the team have to be more vocal. We have to make more shots. We have to defend better, we have to have better strategy. We have to be better. So despite the tough stretch, Bucks are still second in the East, three and a half games behind the Celtics for the top spot. Bucks play the Jazz at home and are missing Damian Lillard for personal reasons, but what are the Bucks missing from what made them NBA champions? Stars always talk about NBA championship lineup that they had. I mean, what? that's the obvious. They got Damian Lillard now, Gil. I remember you just asking. They missing Drew back. Yeah, you said it was going to be easy. It is. Griffin. They in second place. Like this is not. That's this is I'm not saying. the Lakers or this is, is not the Clippers. They are in second place. Yeah. Yeah, they in are in second, second place. They were supposed to be running the East right yeah. now. Cool. I That's didn't what think you said they, before the season. Girl, he don't even need the coach. He I just roll them out I there said. and go ahead and do it. <laughs> That's what he did. They in second right now because he's just rolling the out there and coaching. But but I mean, this is more about. This is more about what Giannis. What his leadership is demanding. He's not saying that we're not playing bad, we're not playing good. Everyone needs to be better at what they do, right? We're not, we, we, ain't no more looking around, right? Ain't no more looking, hey, the bench, be better bench players. Water boys, be better water boy. Everybody do your part and get better at your part because if everyone's doing their part great, we're going to be, we're going to be great. Announcers announce our names better, right? And that's that's the sense. He's just saying, hey, everyone, we need to just start looking at what we do and what we bring, and we just need to bring more as individuals. I don't care what they do. Boston in six. Okay. Yeah. That's how you feel, Nick? Yeah. What? Boston. I'm with that. Chris Middleton has to play better, too. Well, Chris Middleton can't play better. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? Hell no. He's, He's not even playing that many minutes. That's, a, that's good. That's injury? a good thing. Leave his ass where he at. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in Chris. Uh, well, they have no choice right now. Uh, they gonna make, they, they can't minutes. make no more moves. Do you think they can make a move for somebody? I mean, that, uh, they don't need no more moves. No. <laughs> they just who they is. Shit. Everybody stop looking for, stop <laughs> looking for help. <laughs> They ain't. Superman ain't coming, but we do. We can't trade. <laughs> Lakers, we can't trade for somebody, yeah. and we need to do it. But at this point, we done showed them that the players that y'all want ain't worth shit. Why do you keep going back to the Lakers? I ain't going to let you keep disrespecting Reeves like that. No, I didn't say nothing about the Reeves. Uh, Reeves and the Lakers, okay? Well, which part of the Lakers? Like, the can't keep go. cooking the ham. <laughs> the ham. The, 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 listen, Bucks is fine, man. They know what they need to do. They can do it. Did you ever have they an issue with the equipment them. manager not washing your clothes properly? No. Okay. To make but if sure. everyone do better, do better. That's all it is. Do better. Do detergent. Yeah. Do better. So. Get some Tide Pods in there. Yeah, I'm, she probably could be smelling better. <laughs>
I wore a brand new jersey every game, so I don't know. He probably talked about the mm-hmm. practice game. Hey, didn't he get food back the other day at our arena? Mm-hmm. You he did, did what? Food. You wore a new jersey every game. I wore a new jersey every game. Because I threw mine out. Was that yeah. something you agreed to before the season, or mm-hmm. you just did it and they were like, all right, well, oh, boy, we'll just no, yield us? No, I did it, uh, uh, that was my thing. I when you threw the jersey, people were moving out the way. Like, it's crazy as hell. Like, dude, that shit. You tried that shit one year. You tried that one shit one year. Was, ah! yeah. I see the motherfucker jump out the stairs. You remember when you threw your jersey to that tranny? Mm. No, we lied. <laughs> 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 you remember you thought <laughs> we, was in, we was in Atlanta, right? You was like, hey, Nick, what, Nick, you remember me last night? Me. <laughs> you, baby, I'm nah, just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just fucking with you, Kitty. I'm just fucking. <laughs> you doing the Kitty now? Nah. <laughs> it's just bullshit. <laughs> uh, but do we feel like we? <laughs> I'm fooling y'all. When you, when Giannis's comments. <laughs> including everybody else, but was he trying to take a shot at the coaching? And he said we all got to do everything better. He did better, say but coaches he, but first, he started though. with the coaches <laughs> he did first. say coaches. Whoever you say, whatever you say, first and last. Yeah, and the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to be coached better. He started with, and he said we had to have better strategy, and we have to be better. So I think you know who controls the strategy. I don't think Giannis or Thanasis or Dame does that. <laughs> nah, but I think I think brother Thanasis got to be better too. Meeting. Giannis' brother got to be better. He got to be talking to Giannis better. He got to go get food for Giannis better. He got to, <laughs> hey, hey, man, what's going on, man? You all right, brother? He got to go get the jersey, the ball when he had 60 better. He supposed yeah. to, Giannis ain't supposed to be there. The brother supposed to, hey, I got this. This is my job. Mm-hmm. This is what y'all pay me for. If you don't pay your brother for nothing else but to make Giannis happy. So. Stop LeBron tapping me. I love it. The free throw touches. Hey, PTSD, give me. PTSD, you see that shit? Uh, I, didn't, I forgot all about uh, that. You know you did, motherfucker. He gave you the bronze tap? Yeah, he gave me the bronze tap, man. Like, oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> this is a missing free throw. Are there any moves out there that the Bucks can make to improve their roster? There's reports that the Celtics <laughs> are trying to shore up you know, their bench. Is there anything the Bucks can do to keep up with that team out in Boston? Lexi, what do you think? I don't think so. <laughs> it's over. I think awesome. people are overreact. Like, other people. I mean, I'm a Dame Lillard fan, so I'm just like, he's still averaging 25 points, but is Dame being Dame? They say that he not. Yeah, they say yeah. he not being Dame, but I'm just like, he's on a new team. He's with Giannis, who's super ball dominant. It's he's just, it's an adjustment. I think he's doing a pretty okay job. How is they, that? They're attacking his like, defense, too. To be like a superstar on one team to get traded and to have to adjust your whole game. Like, I remember when you got traded for, uh, to Dwight, with, to, to Orlando, and you just lost your goddamn mind, too. So, <laughs> for personal experience, how was that? Because I, I remember playing y'all again. You was just crazy out there. You must have gave like you just had your beard, you had a big ass beard, the hair, you just said fuck life. Like what do you go through? Like, what's going on? <laughs> nah, nah, no, no bullshit. That, that was a real adjustment. Yeah. Now that was a real adjustment because um when I first got there, I was being me, scoring, doing this. I got 21 and 9 and 8 coming off the bench, and everybody's like, yo, he should be starting. Then, you know, just the rumbles of that, boom. 15 minutes next game. Yeah. Right? Please you know, this person, three minutes, three minutes in, hit three shots, sub. So then I was like, well, if I shoot, he subs me out. If I don't shoot, he plays more. So now I'm trying to figure out how, how, do, I, how do I stay in the game? And then this was the funniest shit. Whenever someone didn't play, like, all right, J.J. Reddick ain't playing today. I used to go in the locker room, oh, he got to play me today. Oh, you gotta play me. The, yeah, yeah, we ain't got. There ain't nobody else. Play me twenty. Jay Rich ain't playing. Charlotte, come on, call my plays. You got. You need my points. And it became one of those things. Is it's I only mentally came like to work when I knew that he had to play me. Other than that, I don't. I don't know what the fuck to expect. Right. So at, at that point, it's like, all right, I'm gonna just come in three little minutes. He gonna sub me the fuck out if I try to shoot. I got the wide open shoot. So if I so hit you this, just turn it to Vanderbilt, whatever they say. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm glad the world yeah. see you. That's why you hate these motherfuckers. <laughs> it was them. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What a full circle moment that was. <laughs> hey, you, felt you got set up on your own <laughs> show. No, no, Bill's no, Arena no, presented no, by no, Underdog no, Fantasy. No, 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 how I feel. Man, man that just, hurt, don't it? Out there just be walking around and shit. It hurt being me, don't it? <laughs> Life happened, nigga. I'm glad this shit happened to you after that. Turn it to me, I turn it to you when you love. That's what's up. <laughs> I'm so happy about God. <laughs> God, get that motherfucker out here. Show him how it is to be a bitch player. That's the worst. I ain't going to lie. Uh, Dan, not, not to that point yet in his career, though. Like, not Obviously, the close. Bucks, Bucks prioritize offense. I'm sure when they made that trade, they didn't anticipate that Drew Holiday would end up on their fiercest rival. So shout out to the Blazers for playing a great game of chess. Saying, all right, Dave, you want to dip? Here you go, bro. Man. Here you go. You go ahead and go to Milwaukee. Go Not letting you go to Miami. Go send you to Milwaukee, and we're going to give Drew Holiday over to the Celtics. How you like that? But <laughs> <laughs> there's there anything the Bucs can do to improve their chances? They need more defense? Like, what, what do you think? Is a viable. Why are we still talking about them Bucks? Fuck them. All right. Fuck them Bucks. Nobody cares. That's why y'all just can't beat the face second, of the league. Man. They, they second, man. Why we care about how they can improve? They second. What does that, that mean? Second. Third They're overall. second. Third overall. They don't got no fucking problems. <laughs> Shit. They promise both. They, they don't got no right. what, what, right. what, Where were they at last year? Second? First. 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 Yeah, exactly. And they second. So cool they, to a team that's better. That's they got crazy. a better team, so they won two. Cool. But, All right. But if you're the Bucks, you're trying to be number one, right? You're not okay. trying to get smacked by that number one team. I understand the Lakers is doing what they're dealing with, and we will talk about that. All right. We're gonna we, do prayer we circle own, after the have, show. We have our own fucking problems over here, right? Okay. I don't give a fuck how yeah. we are in Los Bucks. Angeles. I don't care about how proving the Bucks. Okay. I wish we was the Bucks right now. <laughs> All right. I wish we had the record, the Bucks. I wish we was talking about everybody do better. We're in uh, place. <laughs> why can't Why can't we have that speech? <laughs> right. Hey, That's the speech we need. Bro, huh? We we, we need that Bronny speech. can play on this team right the only, now, you the, bum. Yeah, the only speech we got is Bronny can play on this team right now, guaranteed. And I, that's I'm, fucked up. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure at that point. At yeah. I'm pretty sure if he played 30 minutes, he gonna get more than seven shots up. I don't know. He, he gonna get it. He gonna get more than seven shots. He don't really. Well, he's not that aggressive. Not but he shoot. He gonna. Yeah. He gonna take the shots. Yeah, especially I'm playing with my dad. dad. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. My dad said, give me the ball. Yeah, yeah. That's a cold line. <laughs> dad said, give me the ball. <laughs> Darvin. <laughs> Don't even what call him What you gonna color. do, Ham? <laughs> <laughs> he went back the next day. It's like, yeah, y'all know I can play for the Lakers, right? Right. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. All right, we got to talk about y'all former team, the Wizards, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Specifically one player. Mm. So more than 500 players have played in the NBA game this season. Oof. And out of all of them, Jordan Poole currently has the worst plus minus in the league. Ball. We got the. So since this was God. posted, it's gotten even worse for Poole. He's currently at minus 343. <laughs> oh, that look. For the season. <laughs> Anybody that played for the Wizards, I just. And the Wizards have the third worst record in the league. You pray for him, would you? Yeah, you got to lift him up. You can't talk bad That's about That's what we're trying to do. I played for that organization. That, <laughs> if you played for that organization, you need a hug. I'm telling you. <laughs> We're going to do some uplifting. Yeah. But we got to talk about, you know, some bad stuff first. Ugh. Last five games, Poole's averaging eight points, four assists, two rebounds, shooting 40% from the field, 20% oh, from point? three. Man. Yeah, we're here to uplift. All right, we've talked about Jordan Poole previously. We are riding with him, Milwaukee native, you know, won a championship, said his legacy was good regardless going into this season. It's good. But it's good. Thoughts on Poole's time with the Wizards so far? And how would you grade his performance? As being, as the man on the Wizards this season, I think the NBA grade him uh, last. Trash. <laughs> 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 hey, I get he he his last, but fuck, that's where his grade is at. Shit. Damn. <laughs> Negative <laughs> was crazy. God, but it's like I know that below all the Pistons players too. Huh? Worse than all the Pistons players too. Are they right above him? But they he's still below him. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like that's like that's as, in, as the NBA player, like we all laugh about like yeah. this is pointless stats that oh this is dumb they just making up shit this one shit that actually like Plus whoever that. got it you like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's a stat. It's an analytic that it's you're actually It's an analytic that... Plus minus. Man. I hate that shit. Dog, but last. that's crazy. 
last. But look at the Wizards, though. Like, you can't, you can't name two people outside of pool on the Wizards. Like, come on, man. Like, the Wizards. It's the Wizards. I'm, the Liver survive with the Wizards. That's what, that, that, we should be applauding him for this. He get paid a hundred something million dollars. One, that's one. Close, close to 30 million. He had Steph Curry and Clay, and he didn't pass them the ball. They should have right. kept him. Right, he didn't pass they them the ball. They both miss each other. He, 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 got, he got Kuzma. That's it? That was it. He got Kuzma over there. You telling me that you scored eight and four in a five game span? And the, the the second best player, or the first, at this point, it's the first best player. It's Kuzma. You can't not look Kuzma off. You look Curry off. You look Clay off. It's different to look Curry off when the team is keying in on Curry. Everybody's keying in on Pool right now. Pool is the offense, so he gonna get all the attention every night. Every night he get double teamed. He ain't, he ain't no, got a... Brother, nobody double teaming pool. Who else you gonna guard out ain't there? Ain't nobody double teaming pool. Who you gonna guard? Do you, huh? you gonna sag off whoever you guard. You can't name their point guard or they small forward. Nakuz oh. on the small forward. That's the only motherfucker we know that. Okay, yeah. Well, outside of them two. Obviously, Kuzma getting his shots. So yeah. We gonna do that. We gonna do that. This is that. that. I, 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 listen, I can tell you this. You should know that look when your face is, he don't shave, he going through he it. He went over it. there without a shave, looking like he played look, in, he played that's in. That's exactly his, how he arrived to D.C. Thank he you, played, that's his, like, he, never, he was he, going through some situations. It's a help, cry for help. <laughs> that's help me, man. It should say help on the side. Help. Like, <laughs> Mary, like, get the, therape the therapist there. They did it before. When we were stressed, what we did? What we they did, did it before. They got us a therapist. <laughs> Get him a therapist there. They need Draymond. Right? <laughs> Whatever you did, reverse it. <laughs> yeah, reverse juju reverse it. Hit that motherfucker back normal. <laughs> Re reset the reset. Shit. <laughs> Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog. <laughs> hey, you hey, have my done so already. Have they played the yet? Use promo they code did. Gil. They just played. Oh, yeah, no, Dre was out. He Dre was out. Damn, yeah. listen, I guarantee, I guarantee, I know one thing. If Dre was on the floor, he gonna shoot that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, shit. he gonna shoot that. How much he had against the Like, this is, this is, this is. They had, like, some very nice, sweet moments. Well, no, in the last five games, they have an ace. And, and between that, he had to play them. But I this, know, this so is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Why are you mentally, mentally thinking that this ain't your team? Mentally, like whatever you went to Golden State with, it should have doubled here. Right? I, and I think that's what happens sometimes. I think sometimes as players and you go to a situation, you try to be something you're not. And when you're trying to be something you're not, it actually hurts you. You're trying to be a point guard or a shooting guard or whatever you're trying to be out there. It ain't working, right? It ain't working for you, right? It's making you're, you're last. I've never even, I, I've never even like you last, like last. I don't who, who the fuck wants to be last. Yeah, right? But like that, whatever you're doing right yeah, now yeah. has you last. When you seen that meme. There's no way in hell you should go into the next game with the same thought process. You should walk into that motherfucker like, hey, hey y'all, <clears throat> uh, whatever I was doing before, <laughs> fuck that, okay? I'm not looking for y'all, around y'all, right? Because I'm last right now and me passing y'all the ball and... I need to move up just a little bit, okay? <laughs> you yeah, fucking up my reputation. Whatever we was doing here, fucking up my reputation, okay? And I need to be somewhere in like the hundreds, because right now I'm in 500. 500. <laughs> that's not even possible. No, that's crazy. Is there like a minimum minutes played with this stat? Do we have any more information? Because they said, what, yeah. 500 players that have played? I mean, I'm saying over 500 players have played this season. Damn. He's at the bottom. Oh but you actually, God. obviously, for plus minus, you got to be on the court. Yeah. A significant for it, yeah, amount for of it time. To, for it to actually have some meaning, but, so. Well, the Lakers could use it. No, we don't, we don't need that bullshit. <laughs> so, pool game against the, the, the Warriors. We need, we need pool last year. 
20 yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, but I'm saying it's the wizards. He put the man is that mother. No, nah, man is that fucking ice spice, man. Nah, you put that jersey on, you lose your fucking mind. No, nah, that ice spice fucked him up, man. Paying a hundred thousand for that that girl, man. That's what happens with the. A lot of people on the wizards paid that for some girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should know that. <laughs> you should know that, huh? <laughs> she legit. What's wrong with y'all, man? Five, five is a lot. Huh? Five hundred is a lot. He made a five hundred. That's a lot. Oh, five hundred, right? What's a, what's a reasonable amount? To pay? For oh, ice spice? For ice spice? Ooh, I would love if I'd pay for that. She wasn't even famous long enough to get that. That's what I'm saying. Good negotiation skills, Gil. But some people do make love, like find love in that. Deshaun found love in that, did he? He... <laughs> But, I, uh, but she was famous for a long time. That's what I'm saying. She, she, Latoya, she was famous for a long time. And, and just for the record, Poole has denied that rumor. He said he didn't put up 500000 Yeah, but his game is showing like he did. Yeah. So y'all just go keep the... Uh, I'm riding with Poole. I, I support corner people. He was in a corner. If you in a corner I, shooting corner threes and you have to go through the pain of being on the court with a star and they just pass it to you on last minutes... And you get all the blame, like you, like somebody like you. You know, when you get the ball, you do everything, and you pass it. I had to wait for you to pass to me. Mm. That was pool. When? What? What do you? He not, did that as with. Yes. Yeah, no. No. As a warrior. But he averaged twenty as a warrior. I'm just. We're just going to nip this in the bud right here. <clears throat> all right, man. Look. No. 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 But he got three more years after this contract. Uh, uh, three more, close to hundred million dollars still you, left. Uh, the rest of your career, you gonna come off the bench. All right, I'm just so enjoy the rest of it as a starter. Just enjoy the rest of this this year as a starter, because moving forward, they gonna bring you off the bench. You have lost all notion as a starting shooting guard, point guard in this NBA. Yeah, we, we trying to be positive. It's Monday. Yeah, it was. I'm, 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 that's uplifting. I'm, like, I'm letting you know. So when it happens, it don't fuck you up. Bro, no, Moving no, no, no. forward. You are going to be a six man. How does how does he avoid? Yeah, y'all can't. Yo, you've been in the man with the wizard. You have a, a unique can't situation. A bell. You can't unring a bell. <laughs> Shit, hey. sometimes you can break that motherfucker. Bro, he can just look. Still he here. Play. I'm not rolling with that. Okay, he just needs the right coach. He needs a, a new coach over there. To do what? To help him make shots? So yeah, he needs something. Six man, man. Nah. You can see it every, every every time. Every time you try to put a starter, or you try to put a six man as a starter, and they come out just like this. All right, man, good. <laughs> we done tried, <laughs> uh huh. Wizards tried. He still has some. They would like no. that. You have some faith they for your not. wizard brethren. I know, man. They would. <laughs> Who he gonna come off the bench for? The Wizards Move not getting nobody. First of all, he's they, he's traded. That's a good thing. Where he goes, they gonna put him on the bench. And he gonna be as back a starter. He gonna be a six man. They are gonna say. Hey, we don't need you thinking. Just come in the game, razzle dazzle, right? You razzling, you dazzling, you gonna play. You razzling, you're not, you gonna sit. <laughs> Period. That's it. Uh, you wrestling. You right, you you <laughs> right, right. You come in and call your name because obviously when they call your name with the lights on and shit, oh, star, star, the... coming in, star and guard, Jordan Poo. Obviously that don't, that don't have you hype. So uh, that that's that's more like your <laughs> like, like, like you, huh? Like uh, uh, <laughs> I thought they played us like that. <laughs> that. That sounds better, because when they when they called your name as a starter, obviously you didn't take that to heart. That Michael Jordan theme song didn't get you hyped. Huh? Uh, so it must be turn the lights on, everybody go up and down. Hey Nick, get in. <laughs> <laughs> Tar you up. There you go. That was that's, that's your cue. cue. That's your cue. <laughs> Can you, you you agree or disagree with Gil's sentiments? What if it's just not having to be the man, but still being able to start? Yeah, go to Milwaukee. Can you, what, what, what you see? Come on, Keith, tell him. Milwaukee need him. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> yeah, writing on the wall, man. I see. I still After have one faith. I, ain't, I feel like. No, I got faith that he's, he's, he's going to be well. He's going to. Like, you don't have that big of a decline, man. Yeah. Like, that big of a fall off of coming off the bench to start. He just. Is what it is. He's, he's, I just. What's their record? 
And it looked Six. bad, though. Six and 29. Yo, it bad. looked bad. That, like, the numbers, so if you watch it, it looked bad. It looked bad. It looked bad. And now you put the, the number to it, it's like, ugh. It's worse than I thought. Yeah, absolutely. It's worse than I thought. I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, I nah, he, he, yeah, cool. yeah, he, yeah, he needs to be somebody's six, man. Like he needs he, some structure, though. No, I like, feel like he just needs structure. Out there, they let him do whatever he wants, so... I feel like he needs trust. He needs somebody to, hey, like uh, St- Draymond or still, hey man, come on, man, you shooting too much, you are doing stupid shit. But I think that's what it is. I think he went there, put, got put under structure. Oh, in, in the Wizards. Like yeah, we're gonna run these like plays, and I don't think State, he... it was still like some type of like a controlled chaos. Yeah. yeah. He was still very chaotic, but it was still in like the little Jordan Poole box that yeah, they had like, carved out for him on that team. Yeah. And you come to the Wizards. It's like huh. I feel like it's like huh. That he out there. You seen the movie he went. He thought about it, he went to the hole, dribbled backwards and shot the three. Like, it was crazy. Like, nobody could do stuff out there on the court like that. Nobody let people do that. Like, he was on a fast break, he went to the lab and said, nah, and, like, skip backwards. But, so, that's yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying, but before, you would have been subbed for that. Yeah. Like, now they're allowing him to do it, yeah. but what happens when he miss it? That's he what's missed fucking it. With I know he did. Yeah. <laughs> Like and they still let him play. He don't know how to play easy basketball. Yeah. That, but that yeah. was that's that YouTube baller. <laughs> He's a YouTube baller. A YouTube baller, man. All highlights, man. And you playing against starters over bench guys. You on the you're the number one name on the scouting report. Yeah. I mean, he he and did. And people saw you that. get punched, so mm. he said, "Hey, take it there. You can just climb in your shit and beat just." Yeah, he did get oh, fucked. This nigga soft, shit. Oh, <laughs> hey, that, hey, oh, this nigga soft, man, like, shit. That was a like, I'm try, but I'm trying to try and figure out what, what, like, like, when you look at the rest of the roster, who you, pa- yeah. who you think you passing the ball to? But that's when why we I seen him in, When we seen him in New York, Cause and, he, he, do and he did that move in New York and shot that motherfucker, the motherfucker over here, right? That's what your hand should be, goddamn. Every time I touch it, you should be waving it, and I might see you. Other than that, I'm shooting it. Go get an offensive rebound. That, that's what fucked him up. What, think in the past? That new, I guarantee yeah. you, that New York, that New York play in preseason, where he oh, did where that it went move, viral, oh, yeah. and, and it went viral, and he seen the dude send his hands up, I guarantee yep. you, he looked at that, read them comments yep. and all that shit, and it started making him think. About the rest of his team, not realizing you don't need to pass him the ball. <laughs> and do, do we feel like if that Draymond video never got out, it'd be a different situation? Because I've Draymond video from Punching back in the day, the one hitter. He averaged twenty that year. No, he but averaged it was, twenty. Nah, it was he, fucked up though. It was he averaged up. twenty though. But the like whole if, situation. No, no, no. What I'm saying up. is, they after he got punched, if this is how he played, then. Yeah, it makes sense. If, like, he got punched and then, you know, he, he played like the, what he's doing right now. Perfect sense. Yep. But the fact that you were balling still, and then you get removed, and then you're... Well, you but, think he was playing like that because he knew that he was going to get moved? No. He had to elevate his game so he could get paid. And or is he playing else. in a situation where they're coming off a chip, Yeah. he's feeling good about himself playing for a franchise <laughs> that at that point was committed to winning? With some Hall of Famers. It's a difference. Warriors, Wizards. It's a difference in every aspect. It's probably in a culture shock right now. You get to be hey, eight. You, you, you get to be at, We No, no. Everybody not going to be James Harden. We've seen him being James Harden in preseason. That's the, that's the pressure y'all put on him. We've seen him being James Harden in preseason. You can't do that to somebody preseason. like that. We seen you got to gradually pre- let a quarter do. What do you have in New York? 40 what? You can't let 45? What, in the yeah, preseason 45 game? 45 in the preseason game. Yeah. And we like, hell yeah. Wait, was that the same game with the... Yeah. yeah. And he, 41. Uh-huh. 41. And right out, I guarantee you, after that, it's been declined ever since. Because he went viral in... Okay. Next game, after that, he had seven. Uh, Damn. One for 15. It was another preseason game, so obviously y'all oh, said yeah, the preseason don't matter. Yeah, he, would just went, he went downhill ever since then. That, that teammate, your teammate looking at you, and you start thinking about his feelings... Right? Yeah, hey! Oh, yep. Think about what Karan was like, hey man, pa-. Huh? You, you start thinking about, oh shit, let me give him the ball. What I say, hey, shoot that shit, fuck him. Right. Shoot that shit, fuck him. Yeah. Shoot that shit, fuck him. Fuck what he yeah, talking about over there. It was bad there. for Karan when y'all left too, though. It was bad for him. But that's what I'm saying. It's like he's mentally thinking about Everybody a bunch of players that 
They don't have a hundred something million. But the coaches, everybody is his ear too at the same time. This is new grounds for him. Yeah. Everybody, you want this, but you don't want what. You don't want a what lot come that come with it. Yeah. 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 You're a six man, right? Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. That's not Poole. That's my dog. You think he's going to start the rest of the I'm fighting for it. Next year? You put him who on your, else gonna be there next year? You put him on your podcast. What you gonna do with? <laughs> what, who else gonna come to the Wizards? Everybody no, that goes through bro, the Wizards bro, is no. Like, he's not being part of the Virginia Wizards, brother. <laughs> he ain't part of the. Are they moving? Oh, yeah, yeah, they going to Virginia, but he ain't getting the. <laughs> they not the Washington Wizards no more. They gonna be the deep, the Virginia Wizards or something, man. The Virginia That's Wizards ugly. and Poole ain't a part of that. <laughs> That is ugly. Who gonna be a part of it then? It don't matter. I know one person who ain't gonna be a part of it. <laughs> they trade him. So let's let's keep this thing going, man. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all wondering who's the best shooter in the arena. Well, it's time to find out Me. next weekend. We got the first annual Gills Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy <laughs> taking place Saturday, January 20th at the District in right? Chasworth. You shoot Wow. Nick, no, you didn't come to the qualifiers. Man, he told me he put me down, though. That's crazy, dog. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dog. Damn, you told him not to show up? Huh? Yeah, he told me not to show up. He said, you good. You don't have to show up. <laughs> you good for the when it start. This is for the regular. This, this is for the people that, you know. Damn. Wow. Try to win the hundo. <laughs> uh, me too. For the fun, why? Wow. Nick they can't get, get in the shootout. Yeah, he can get in. I'm going to bust up in. Hey, just pull up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you pull up January 20th to the district, district in Chatsworth, California, you, you'll be added to the competition. So our qualifiers yeah, that's all competing against our celebrity influencers and the Gills Arena crew, winner-take-all battle, $100,000. Before we talk about it, here's a quick recap of the qualifier from December. Oh, shit. Well, at stake is <coughs> pride in $100,000. $100,000 of Underdog Fantasy's money. So all the competitors come in January 20th. I'm not scared of you. You know, I'm going for that 100K. I'm here to win it. Money ball, get hot. Can't hear the suit for 100 grand. Shit, dog, you ready to go. This is $100,000 right here. Hey, this is for the winner. Damn. See that motivation, that look of fire in their eyes to get the chance to pack up Gil. They're going to have to level up. The trash talking is going to happen after I get that 100000 we got one! It's gonna be tough, Gil. There ain't gonna be no cake walk. You're gonna have to kill me, bro. You, you ain't gonna get this over me. I promise you that. Uh, good luck. Good luck. Good fucking luck. Thank you, Gil, bro. No problem. <laughs> January 20th. 1 p.m. Pacific, streaming live on the Gills Arena YouTube channel. And we also got to mention that uh, Underdog Fantasy, who's, who's presenting the event, they're doing special pick for the whole challenge, so you can go higher or lower on the contestants, Gil, the rest of the crew. But Gil, how hype are you for the shootout? I'm going to just be honest with you. I don't have no competition. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna oh, cap. Oh my God. Right? I don't. I'm not even gonna cap. Right? She just started working out. Right? Rashad. I mean, <laughs> the dream killer, Rashad McKenzie. Yeah, I mean, he gonna probably bring his big ass hat. You know, what I mean? probably, bring, <laughs> probably gonna bring the crown. Gonna fuck his head up. Right. You know what I mean? So I mean, and then and then the contestants that was there. <laughs> Gabe oh, York? Yeah, I was added to it. Oh, yeah, you gonna be saying? Hey, look, hey, look, look, look. We can make a deal out of it. Yeah. I'm always good. You feel me? Because, I mean, if he's in, it's my only competition at this point. Lexi, That's do you agree with that? You. No. Okay, I had to ask. That's the host. Yo, I can't believe you. What? You are a very disrespectful competitor. I'm realistic. So nice. How you gonna be her? You baby Easy. competitor. You know we don't lose no girls. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> women. How old are you, Gil? Uh, women. Hell no. I'm losing no girl. No. Oh. Oh. We are equal opportunity employer here at Gills Arena. Oh, presented by not on court. Not on court. It's gonna be so hey, fun. Not on court. Winning. You lose, to, you lose to her, you can't come back here. See? You see? It's Lexi's I'm Arena. There. Lexi, yeah. if you win the shootout. If I win the next show, I'm sitting there. And Lexi's Arena. Okay. I sit there. See, this hey, yeah, and change, the, change that to the Lexi's Arena for the day. Bet. <laughs> Bet. Ask her, ask her if she got shots up yet. 
today. I'm not trying to be in her business like no, that. I no, I have not, but <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm not worried. No. I've been up so are you getting shots up at some point? I am getting shots up. When? So after Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Not today, Fantasy. tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> then this tomorrow. Is the kind of this is my competition. What? This is my competition. She had the Laker game, having fun. All right, drink it up. <laughs> I yeah. keep my mind clear. Laker. I play mm-hmm. best when I'm enjoying life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 20 years, that's, a, that's like two weeks, though. You got a good chance. Yeah, that's yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Time. I'm in the gym five, six days a What's week. Seven, Shut seven? up, yo. Eighth. Eighth. So, girls, as we just said, Underdog will be doing pickums, higher lowers for all the contestants, including our crew. What should they set your higher lower at for the first round? The first round is 25 mid range shots, five oh, shots man. at each spot. Mm. Oh, man. Five spots each shot. Five, yeah, mid-range? Five, five mid-range? Five spots, five shots. So I say 20, 22. 22. 22. That's your higher or lower? For me, 22. Okay. I'm just going to say 23 just to be higher than Gil. I'm going low on everybody. I'm yeah. about to go 25. I ain't going to lie. I'm wow. betting, right? too. Yeah. Right? I'm about to go 25. <laughs> 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 Mid-range is sick. I'm going Underdog, you got to do the Nick Young boost. You got to do the Nick Young boost, the little spicy ones y'all do. If he make all 25 shots, I need to see a boost. I'm getting, I'm going under on everybody. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hater day. Uh, we going sure. under on all y'all. Right Man, I'm not, listen, one, I'm not losing to those now? YouTubers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not losing to no social YouTubers. You like YouTubers I know. Do you know this? You know this? That Jesus. This, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. I was two thir- I was two thirty five. Last time I came here, the sun ain't even been used. It was uh, uh, yeah. I see the wet on the walls. Like, yeah, yeah. You ain't using that. I'm using eight. Uh, I thought I lost nine pounds in the last eight. two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Good you job, girl. You still don't know what they all know. What y'all think y'all all know? I don't. I don't know what y'all think y'all. My name's on the thing. It's a Gil shootout, right? So the Gil got to be shooting. <laughs> Gil has to be shooting. No he funny business, Gil. No funny business. And he going to shoot it, too. He going to shoot it, too. Okay, we're going to see. He but, might pay a couple people off, but he going to win. Still, and I'm still <laughs> taking win. the under. On what? Under, Everybody. under, under. Nah, I, I take <coughs> 22 for sure. I'm, t- I'm 22 for sure. I take mid-range, mid-range 22, 22 for sure. Make it 21.5 underdog. Sure underdog for take for 22. Just to fuck with everybody. Lower. I can bet that for you. <laughs> I, 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 take the, I take the 22. And as always, with Underdog Fantasy, we do not bet. We do pick ems, okay? It's a difference. Oh. Uh, fantasy. But we are doing fantasy. Let, let's see. What is it? What is it? High low about 15? <laughs> yeah. I, I can 15 of that. Please, please make Lexi's higher or lower 15 so I can take the higher on that one. I'm going to take the lower. And get my bread right. Huh? Can you, you still take it to lower? That is a 15. Don't hate me on this couch. Damn. I'm taking the yeah. higher or lower. I said I'm taking the lower on everybody. It ain't just you. But not on 15. Everybody, lower. What if they do one of those point five specials? You still go? I hey, still go. <laughs> now I gotta go higher. Three out of five. I want the. I want nah, that bag. Yeah, I might roll with kids. All right, yeah. well, we got one last segment today, Nick. We appreciate you pulling up. Uh, I don't. Definitely been a spirited conversation. I do not. Okay, so to everybody on the couch is not rolling with your appearance. He's like he said under fifteen. I might roll with kids on that one. Can you look what you started? <laughs> she didn't look that confident. That's why. You didn't look so tough. Yeah, you we just, see it. You, yeah, yeah. You, just, you ain't even started working out yet. This, yes, this I man, have. This man been shooting for six I know months how, now. Like, how hard he was. Something but he been shooting since he, he thought of this like, shit in his what? head. <laughs> He I gonna hope probably, I have yo, the same energy when I be, I be tr- he been here. thought he <laughs> thought of this shit in his head, and when he thought of he went and started working out. Y'all are trying to scare me. With he, oh, I'm going to undo both of them. Start start no gill you think I just started gill shootout just to start? Yeah, wait till no, he was ready for it. I know you want to win your own money. No, he was waiting for he was. It ain't my money. It's white people money. You gotta win your own damn shootout. Let it be said or no. I know 100 percent you're trying to make sure none of us win. Yeah, it ain't mine. It's theirs. I just want extra. Collectively, you just let's let's. Move on to our last segment of the day. See, Most now if y'all start thinking like a group, group that's thinking, the only yeah. time y'all gonna win. So, like, you shoot, you get 15, and then the other one, they get to shoot, and then y'all get as close to 25 as possible. That's how y'all should do it. Well, you so can you group lose in the first they should. one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and her could be one, like the Transformers, like the, like the Lakers, like you making one. Like her, her and the YouTuber, y'all just combine. <laughs> I don't need help. Let's move on to mostly fans. Darn it, hell. I had Cam and Vin. Right. <laughs> Cam, Vin, and Prince. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the app, use promo code GILD. They will match your first deposit up to $100. So everybody. Lower. 
Being featured on the show today is going to get a $50 deposit match <laughs> for asking a question in the chat. If, and if you sent the video in the 30 to 40 second range and we use it, you get that 100. So first question is from underdog user B Mercado. He said, is it possible that Draymond put that information out there of him retiring to get sympathy from everyone? I don't know, because nobody going to feel sorry. Not at all. <laughs> everyone was not at this point. joking, funny, thought yeah. it was funny, so I'm not sure what the point of that story was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, not at this point. Ain't nobody Maybe it's a little, I don't know what the point was. <laughs> I mean, it made headlines. So, yeah, uh, he is good attention. at that. <laughs> to run numbers up for the Draymond Green yeah. show, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's the well only played. way you could probably go is... After everybody was talking crazy, to say something like that. <laughs> yeah, say something. Yeah. I was gonna quit. Yeah, I didn't want to choke Control nobody. Control the narrative. No he's, <laughs> he's a smart guy. Yeah. And do it on his own platform and podcast instead of let's <laughs> report that. Like shout out athlete empowerment. Yeah, he's a smart man. I'm gonna come back and got to back it out of me. Hey, uh -huh. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to play no time soon. Uh huh. New contract too. First what? year of his deal. Mm. Sit the rest of this one out. Yeah, this yeah. back ain't right. Uh. Get that back. Yep. Get that back. No. Whatever you do, make it's sure you check. get your check. Ain't choke nobody. Hey, hey, the, hey. The, the fact that uh, he said Adam Silver said, okay, great mind, yeah, come on, just relax. <laughs> you, can choke, you can choke three more people the rest of this year. Just two more. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Please don't leave. Uh, next question from <laughs> underdog <laughs> user. This yeah, shit, though. Our next question from underdog user, cash me out, 89. Who was the first player in the league that gave you real work? Who was the first player in the league that gave you real work? It's the other way around. You gotta flip that. Who oh. did you give work? Oh, who was the first player in the league you gave real work to? I'm sorry. I'm fucking up. Shout out, Baron. Uh, On my, my unity. Oh, the first person uh, was Jeff McGinnis for the Los Angeles Clippers. <laughs> McGinnis. Yeah, I gave him 32. Shit. Yeah. Uh, probably Gil at practice. <laughs> We had one on one. If you play one on one, I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> cut. cut. True story. Cut. Now nah, he was kind of come back from his knee injury, you know. So don't matter. Yo, <laughs> come on, he's look, look, did he play? What? I Start mean, making up rules. We gotta play full court now. One on one, full court. Cause if you <laughs> get dragged in, okay, half court, three dribbles. <laughs> Have we actually ever finished a one on one no, game? No, no. Why not? Cause, Cause I'm not losing. I get oh, to the. Yeah. I get to the red. I quit. And change the rules. He keep changing the rules over and over. So we we that's got 21 right. unfinished games. <laughs> that sounds about right. I've never lost one on one. That's why I said this shootout. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he he ain't starting unless he really ready. Shoot. So Lexi, if you feel comfortable saying, obviously you are still in the league, still getting a bag from the W. Yeah. Who was the first player in the league you gave real work to? Diana. Oh. This past Ooh. year. Ooh. Yeah. That was like my first like real game of like just hooping. I was getting to the midi, layups, hit the game time layup to put us in overtime, hit the game seal in three in overtime. I was getting to it for the first time. Okay. It just happened to be against Diana. Yeah, well, you, 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 gotta say, you gotta say her full name. Yeah. Diana Tarasi. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, one of the best ever. Uh -huh. so, see, you gotta do, hey, see, that's when Let you, me say that. Yeah, you got to add her accolades. It made it, accolades up. it made it a special game for so, sure. Who's the first person in Gills Arena that you're going to give real work to in the Gills Ooh. Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy? That Ooh. man. Damn. This man right me. here. Point him out. Point him out. I want my name on the screen. If Lexi wins, it's Lexi's arena. If I win, it's Lexi's, Lexi's arena. arena for the day. <laughs> yeah, I'll see. Y'all can work on the graphics. <laughs> Y'all don't have to work on the graphics. I ain't gonna lose. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna bring my own poster <laughs> and just put it on the front. <laughs> so, Kenny, who was Tape the first it. first player in the league you gave real work to? Fucking no. So long ago. <laughs> Played so many basketball games, man. Right, this really? is a rookie year. Rookie year. I don't remember, dude, I don't remember nothing about that. <laughs> He was a starter, so them. them yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good. Yeah, remember when people were good, 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 good at it? <laughs> me fucking yeah, five years to get this moment. I'm gonna remember it forever. Yeah, I really, yeah. I, well, the first who I. I think Myers was No, it was a, like, if you just wanna put a game on, like, the rookie year shit don't count, we was losing. Like, we got swept, but it was shit, the game four in the finals when I was shit. I, I went crazy. I was just. 
put Robert Orr in front of me, and I went dead at his rack. <laughs> like, but before my rookie year, now nah, I don't remember too much about Sarah certain Robert games Orr. and shit like that. Like, I don't. Oh, yeah. So I can't tell who, who the loss. Yeah, yeah like, like who it is. I don't. Oh, I scored this many points in my in my fourth game. Like, yeah. y'all do play a lot. Are you talking to anybody in particular, Kenyon, with that assessment? Oh, you so you see, <laughs> I see, caught it. I caught yeah, it. you messy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you messy as fuck. <laughs> yes. No, I just, I, I really, it didn't. I played a lot of meaningful basketball games in my career. Do you remember your 19.15 uh, rebound game versus the Clippers in your 10th game in the league? No, I do not. Okay. That's, producer wanted me to that, ask. That, that was the first, what? Cause I know the, yeah, like no, rebounds? 19.15 rebounds. I know the first two games, I know the first game I was 4 for 16. I know that much. Mm -hmm. I know the second game I was 4 for 16. And probably the game after that, I, it, was, it was a trend. <laughs> it was a trend. <laughs> so I know that, that I do know. The first two games, I, I, I didn't shoot the ball well from the field. But if the 10th game, I had a double. That was a nice double-double. I had a triple-double my rookie year. Yeah. There you go. I don't, know who, I don't remember who the fuck it was against. Oh, that game was, I had some time. I wasn't playing, man, because I, I tried to get off Gil, told the coach. It was Hayden? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we could, I couldn't mm. try to get off until probably mid-season. <laughs> So. Y'all supposed to be L.A. guys, Valley boys, no? No love for the Valley Gill? Yeah, actually, just one they had a chance. It was, just a, it was just one of them days, man, was, where you just try to, find, you try to figure out, you t take it out on somebody, man. You just figure out, <laughs> fuck it, the rookies, man. There's no, way, there's no way to do it. Right? There's no way to yeah, yeah, shit going bad, rookies, yeah. <laughs> they fall. <laughs> so we got one more question. It's a video question from Underdog user. My name is my name. Two questions. One, does Wimby have a good chance of becoming Defensive Player of the Year? My boy is leading the league in blocks. He also affects the offense of other teams while he's in the game. Every team that tries to drive in double thinks to put up a layup because my boy is 7'5 and going to block that shit off the backboard. Question number two, you think Wimby's record with the Spurs is going to affect his Rookie of the Year chances? All these OKC fans are capping about Chet. Even though they know my boy Wimby is, is that dude, bro. Let me know what y'all think. So, so I love how like 85% of these videos is somebody in their car. I feel like he right. pulled over at least, mm -hmm. but on the drive. Oh my God. Stop and it was like, what possessed y'all to hard. ask that question at that very moment? They got the plies going on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so two part question. Does Wimby have a good chance of being defensive player of the year? I think he meant this season. I'm not 100% sure. And will the Suns, and will the Spurs wins affect his rookie of the year chance? He know more about the defense accolades. No, I mean, you watch the game. I don't. Is if he's leading the league in blocks, that's a thing. So, is there a chance? Yeah, if he lead, yeah, I, that's what they normally go on. Uh, his rebounds, yes. mm -hmm. they put that in effect as well. But it's not so. With those two things combined, if they solely going, maybe not, but with blocks, yeah. I, the wins thing with the rookie of the year, I don't think it matters. Because Chet ain't no fucking rookie. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wimby currently averaging 19 points, 10 rebounds, 3.3 blocks yeah. per game this yeah. season. Like, He's averaging three blocks a game? Yeah, 3.3. Right. Right, yeah. So, no, that's... <laughs> no. In first place for rookie of the year. Um, yeah, because he's a rookie. He's an actual rookie. And <coughs> actual we all are seeing how the Spurs are like playing and how they're not really playing through him and how they should yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So keeping that, keeping that in mind and still him producing those numbers is very impressive. Um, and I don't think he's going to win defense play of the year because they're still, I think yeah, those, tries. that one might, that might yeah. affect like their lack That's of winning. Reach. Yeah, might affect that. For sure. Uh, I think he'll win probably rookie of the year just because he's the main focal point of of the Spurs. And one, the other guy helped, I think. So, but defense player of the year, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Not with that record. Um, uh, but rookie of the year, yeah, for sure. I think. And over the Lakers, the NBA is pushing him to be like the next big thing. So, this would be a good. Why us add to that? Mr. Arenas? Uh, no thoughts on defense. 
Who gives? Who cares? In a sense where, I mean, is he going to win one in his career? Yes. You know, of course. Um, him and Chet, the way they play the game and, you know, their height advantage and they can alter shots, deter shots, you know, that's going to be calculated. So um, he will win one one of these years, right? Within the next three years, he'll probably pull one. He'll probably be, he might make it, he could make a, a second team, you know, this year, um, for sure next year. Um, rookie of the year. Um, his percentage is going to be worse than Chet's because Chet gets to shoot, you know, easier shots. Um, but Wimby's numbers is going to probably be better all the way around. So I'm pretty sure it'll go down to like the last week. So, you know, at this point, it's just these two. And a safe bet is just just say, fuck it. Make them, um, if it's that close, just co. Rookies. Co rookies. If it's that close, co rookies. Can you, how, how would you feel about? The you cover kid. So you rolling with that? Yeah, okay. when it's deserving. It. Mm -hmm. Like when you have two guys that's playing equally and you have a hard time, you got voters that's, yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, they did with J. Kidd and Graham, so why not? For sure. And before we go, so Nick, you got a <laughs> new podcast you started, On the Corner. Yeah, yeah. On the Corner podcast. Yeah. You can follow it on YouTube. What can uh, viewers expect <laughs> from your show? Uh... Mainly uplifting the corner guy, you know, the other guys. This podcast is not about the star. Like, you know, it's about the feelings of the liquor store guy, the, the corner guy. Yeah, the guys like Vander. What's his name? And, and Ken Reddy. You don't even know him. See, okay, so yeah. those guys. Yeah, these guys, you know. They <laughs> love, too. Love, love, man. Yes. Like so them. basically all your teammates that you play with. See what I mean? No, no, I'm just saying, so yeah, all your you teammates, you, you, got, you, got lot, like, you got a whole lot of... Teammates yeah, you can put on that. Yeah, about to be. <laughs> you got a whole lot of teammates you can put on that. <laughs> yeah, man, that's just. That's just so you said I can't be a guest. <laughs> no, no, no. But you said it was, there was a corner store version of Gil. Oh, it was. Yeah, I yeah, told so you. It's, 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 that it's, it's different levels of corners. Like the go from a star. <laughs> we gonna need that story. You know, to go from a star to being the other guy. Yeah, that's for sure. It's, that kid was a liquor store nigga and <laughs> after he failed to, to when he went to the Clippers, yeah. <laughs> yeah when I got just everybody turned, day, man. everybody just turned into a corner yeah. pick on liquor store. Yeah, when I got to the Clippers, yeah, I was Yeah, yeah he turned into just yeah, once you get older it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, we appreciate you pulling up. That's on the corner. Uh Nick's YouTube channel to watch his new podcast. Lexi, we appreciate you as hey, always. Hey, drop, drop his link in the chat. Yeah, we're going to drop it in. Uh, show description. Okay. Yeah, it's in the show description. Click on the show description. Go ahead, give him a follow. Help support the movement. Can you appreciate you pulling up as always? Yeah. Gil, happy birthday again. Hey, you know, they gentrified you. your actual yeah, birthday. Yeah. They gentrified the action one what? on January 6th. Yeah. <laughs> they took it from I you, Gil. And I told you they gentrified. Boy, shine it, boy. Yeah. Oh, you got new trinkets, new jewelry? Right, look at them. Then you got the stomach. Where you keep all that? What's that shit? What's that shit? You know, Charles and Bunch right there. You got to hide this, ain't that? Oh, my gosh. You got that $12, uh... This is $12 for the mall, man. Yeah, that shit fake, man. Yeah, that's that shit, jewelry. You see this shit at the mall, man, at the kiosk. Gil Rock and Fake Jewelry, ladies and gentlemen, of no monetary value whatsoever. But we appreciate y'all, as always, for tuning in to Gil's Reading, presented by Underdog Fantasy. We will see y'all on Tuesday.